Your calls go straight to air. No screening. No filtering. It's Triple M. I've got an idea, but this work. I've got an idea, but this might not work. Right. And it might be a little bit pretentious. And it might be a little bit airy-fairy. Are you up for a game? Here's what we have to do. Right. You know, I study performing arts at university. And I, if, if, if I'm in a, a, a room and, a, 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 and um, some music comes on, I can jump on that table and dance to, and sing to the, uh, till the cows come home. There was a game we used to play, right? It's a trust game. This, will this work as a phone in? Let's give it a go. What you do, you'd have about five of you sat in a circle and you had to count up to a uh, 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 40, right? But you had to do it. You could say one number at a time and you um, I kind of had to feel the gap. So I would say one and then someone else would say two and then someone would say three. Uh, and there was no set order of it. And if so, if two people said the same number at the same time, then you stopped and you went back to the beginning, right? Can we try and play that on the phone now? So you've got a phone in. We're going to try and count up to 40, right? You say one number, you put the phone down. 0344 499 1000. Have I explained that well enough for that to work? You phone up and you do a sequential number and we have to get to 40. And if someone phones up and does the wrong number or does a number that we've had, or says something that isn't the number, we start again. Is this going to work? I don't know. If it doesn't, who cares? So, in theory, the fir- 0344 499 1000. I need to see a few more uh, numbers on the switchboard before we go for it. So, in theory, the first number, the first caller, should say 1. And then the second caller will say two. And then the third caller will say three, et cetera, et cetera. Um, are you up for that? Can we give it a go? So don't phone up and, and get the number wrong. And don't phone up and say something rude or ridiculous. Because we'll just have to start again. Okay? Right. So let's try line one. Three. No, you, no, you just got to start with one, you idiot. Right. Line two. Hello? Yes. Hello? Do you have some... Is this Ian Lee? Yes. What number do you have to this say? Is Sloop. Listen, listen. I've got a number. Mm. This is your boy, Sloop John B, and I'm going to give you a warning about something. Okay. You were talking about phone slams the other day. Yes. All right? Yes. And I'm right now sourcing an old school landline. Oh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to phone you from a different number so you can't see. And guess oh. what I'm going to do? You're going to slam the phone I'm down on me. Oh, no, no, no. First, I'm going to lure you in. Yeah. With a nice conversation. Oh, I'm yeah. Give you a mortal, I'm going to give you a Mortal Kombat style. Finish him. And that will be the code that you know. It's Luke John B. And I'm going to burn you yeah. with an ass. Acidic oh, tirade wowzers. and give you a nuclear bomb wow. slam. What do you make of that Beach Boy obsessed fan? Just say that. Reckon? Just say that again. What are you going to do? I'm and I've cut him off. Yeah, in your face, Loop John B. Right, line three. Hello. Um, is that the same Ian Lee who does the voiceover for the dog thing on Channel Dogs Make You Lol? Yes. Yeah. Um, I've been trying to get a clip on the show for ages, and they won't put it on. What is um, it of? Tell me what it is, and I, I, I know the producers. Well, I want to do it now. Um, I've got my camera ready. Well, my wife's got the camera ready. Anyway, I've got my dog on the window ledge. What I want to do is, is push it off. Oh. Uh, if you can do, like, a live voiceover while she films it. Okay. Um, and, and then it's done, isn't it? It's a ready-made clip. You can just go straight in. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. T- okay. Uh, all right. So... Mildred, Mildred, come here. Um, Have a look at these guys. They're quite house proud, but the dog's not so sure. Hmm, he's seen something out of the window. That's that's great. There we go, perfect. Send it in, beautiful. We're still trying to get someone to do some numbers. Right, line one, give us a number. One. There we go, perfect. Right, now we need... (laughs) All the callers are gone. Right, line two... 
number four. Oh, you idiot. You absolute ass. Right. Try to start again. Line one. One. Thank you very much. Line two. Hello. No! You've got to give us a number! Oh, uh, sorry, is that me? Give us a number! 57. Oh, you idiot. Right. Line... Right, start again. Just... We just want to get up to 40. Line one. Hello? Hello? Yes? Yeah, how are you? Who am I? No, how are you? Who am I? Yeah. Who are you? No, how are you? No, uh, oh, oh, just right. This is so simple. Why can't people get it? Right. Line two. One, two. No, one, two. no, one, two. No, right. Can we just take a break and everyone just have a think about what I've asked them to do, please? The radio show for people who know the best part of the day is the night. Late night, Ian Lee on Talk Radio. We have ways of making you talk. Right. We've got 16 minutes, exactly, right, to do this, to count up to 40. So caller one comes on and goes one, hangs up. Caller two comes on and says two, hangs up. Caller three comes, that's it. That's all you've got to do. We've had a really good show. Don't start annoying me in the dying minutes, right? Hmm. Let's try. Line one. What? Well, perfect. Right, he's gone. Line two. We can't hear her on hold. And there's a that's delay, your that's so. your problem. Deal with it. All these people, all these technical people on the, the Twitter going. Well, there's a there's a fourteen second delay, and they won't be. Stop what? Deal with it. Line one. Hello. Hello. Yes. Three, two. Two. No. No one! No! Oh, right, let's try again. <sighs> Line two. Two? No. And I'm watching a prostitute. No, it's one. But, oh, it's right. It's truth. Three. No, oh, God, for goodness sakes. Right, just everyone just calm down, because I'm really... <clears throat> Line one. Yes! I think the furthest we've got is one. Imagine that. We're getting up to 40. We'll, we'll, we'll tell Jerry Springer we might not need him tonight. Line two. Number two, up your bum. Thank you very much indeed. There was no need for that vulgarity, but we'll do that. That's the furthest we've got in this trust game, right? Line three. You all right? Yeah, I'm all, yeah good. What are you going to say? Well, um... No. You've got a beard, haven't you? That's... Listen, you've got got a beard. Yes, I've got a beard. All right. Now, in the West Country, if you've got a beard... Yes. ...and you say to someone else, um, hello, beardy, that means that you're right, mate. Right. Yeah. That's that's a great call. Thank you so much for that. Where did that get us? We start again. Line two... Hello? Four. No, we've started again. Line one. Hello? Call the top game. No. So what we're doing, we'll play some music for 30 seconds while you all have a long, hard think about why you're doing this, because you're screwing this up, right? So just, 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 just have some thinking music, please. Okay. Start again. Line one. Sixty nine. Oh. 
Hmm. Line one. Perfect, perfect, one. I think that was what they were saying. Line two. It's the electronic didgeridoo, so we start again. Right. All you've got to do, all you've got to do is we're going to count from 1 to 40 in order. We're starting again. Line 1. 1. There we go. Don't say anything else. Okay. Line 2. Four. Jeez. We have to start again now. Here's the thing. I suppose you think that was funny. I suppose you're at home with your mates or your, your mates passing around a big fat spliff or a bottle of cider going, oh, we'll teach him a lesson, we'll get that tasser. And you think that's funny, do you? Well, well done. We've got to start again now. You've ruined it for everyone. Start again. Line one. One. Thank you very much indeed. You see? Line two. Chuck I'll give a chuck ice and shove it right up your ass. Who is this? Chuck eyes. Who is this? Because I'm going to get a chuck ice. I'm going to shove it up your ass and in your the the, the, the whole of your penis. Okay. Right, you've just ruined it for everybody. Right, we start again. Line one. One. Thank you very much indeed. The ones are great. The ones are spot on. Line two. All right, Maisie. How are you? All right? Yeah. No, um, I've uh, lost my chutney. Have you got it or not? I just want to know. Do you want this... Do, really you, do, do you want this thing to succeed or not? Are you deliberately trying to make me look like an idiot? What, what are we talking about there, Blake? Right, OK, I mean... <laughs> we start again, line one. One. Perfect. The one's spot on. Let's go on to line two. One. No, we're on two. Right. Okay, we start again. Now we're on one. Line one. One. Thank you very much indeed. Perfect. Let's go on to uh, line two. Hello? What? What was that? Right, we start again. Line one. Chuck I? <sighs> right. Who are you? Hung, hung up. If anybody else phones up and says Chuck Ice, I will, f- I will, um, uh, I will, f- I will demand that you tell me where you live. And if you live within the London London region, I will come t- round there tonight or maybe tomorrow, but probably Monday with a Chuck Ice, and I'm going to shove it where the sun don't shine. We start again, line one. One. Thank you. The the ones. Perfect. Okay. So, line two. Two. Oh, baby, baby! We are equal with the furthest we've got. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it to three. Line three. 69! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? They've hung up! We start again, line one. 39. No. Oh. Right, okay, okay. We, we start again, line one. So, so, so do you think that's funny, playing someone who's, who can count? Do you think that's funny? Because it's not me that's... Um, it's not me that's looking like an idiot. It's you, listeners. You are looking like idiots. Right. We start again, line one. One! There we go. Perfect. The ones, boom. Mmm. Okay, second one. Let's go to line two. 
It'll never, ever, ever work. It can't. It's impossible because of the delay. No, no. The, 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 of course it can work. Dream big. No, it's impossible. Dream big. You'll always... You, you, yeah, but you can't. You've dream got big. Someone's going to get it right after you. Dream, oh. dream big. Okay, three. You're an idiot. You've just heard him say one in the background. I can't... Do you know how, how much of a delay there is on your radio? That's your problem. That's your, that's your problem. <laughs> right, one then. No! Right, go, right, go away. Right, we'll start again, line one. One. There we go, perfect. The, the, the ones are spot on. Let's go to the second one. Line two. 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 Perfect. Okay, let's go. See if we can get as far as three. Line three. Uh, one. <laughs> please don't ever call no. me again. Don't please don't ever call me again. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. No, so don't, sorry. just just don't ever. I don't even want to. I don't. <laughs> I don't call me again. You're not welcome here. Uh, okay. Right, ha- hang up then. Uh, give my love to one. Hang Thank up. You. Hang up. I can't um, be bothered. I can't be bothered to cut you off. So you just hang up. Well, you want me- I can't be bothered to hang up. I can't. Well, I can't be bothered to cut you off. It's too late. I can't. I can't hang up. I can't hang up. Hang- no, I'm not. You, you hang up. No, I can't. I don't want to give you. I don't want to give you the respect of hanging up on you. <laughs> you don't oh, deserve. Um, you don't deserve me. T- I've got to touch the touch screen twice to hang to cut you off. You don't deserve me putting the effort to touch the screen in twice. I don't, that, that hurts. Right, fine. That I hurts. tell you what. Well, you stay there, yeah. and I'm going to do the rest yeah. of the show, and I'm not going to cut you off. You're not going to cut me off at all. No, but if you you stay there, but you've got to be quiet. You'll need to because I'm not going to cut you off. Well, then, you, no, but just be quiet. Okay, I'll right. Try. We start again. Line one. I want to know what's your favourite carrots, chutney. All right. Are you listening? Unfortunately, uh, yes, carrot, but I want to hear someone no, say no, the number no, one. No, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. I've not finished. Carrots, chutney, um, and turnips. What's your What's your favourite? I'd love. I'd love to know that. And I'm being serious as well. Come what? on, for eating. Well, yeah. What? Well, yeah. What else? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I'd go with two. There you go, then. Well, what else, then? What do you mean you go with turnips? Well, turnips. if we're eating them, I'd go with turnips, yeah. All oh, right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then, uh, that's a bit boring. I thought chutney was quite good. Right. You, I told you to shut up. Apologies. Put I'm the just fo- waiting for you to hang up. I'm not going to do it. Put the phone down. I'm not going to do it. I you can't s- be bothered. It takes too much energy. Shut up. <laughs> L- line three, we're starting again. Oh, uh, hello. No, one. <laughs> thank, thank you very much indeed. Right, let's get the second one. Line two. Twelve. Why is this is such an easy thing? We we'll start again. Line three. I went to the zoo. <laughs> one. No, we'll accept it, but I mean, it's right. Let's see if we can get the second one. Line two. Is it Chalk Eyes? Right. Who are... Who, right. I'm getting a bit of paper and... Right. Who is this? What is your name? What, he's put the phone down! You still you there? The energy to do it. Shut up. Line three. We're starting right. again. Two. Steady, steady, Two. steady, steady. Are you still there? Who, me? Oh, I thought you'd gone. Right, let's, no, no, let's no, start. No, sorry, you, have, you have disappointed me, and you've disappointed everybody. Let's start again. Line one. I'm so sorry. Shut up. One. Thank you. Right, okay, let's see if we can get the second one in now. Line three. Is it Ghostbusters 2? Right, you, I'm going to s- s- shove that. You said two. All right, okay, so we, we're okay. Let's go, let's see if we can get the third one in. Line three. Three, you bummer. Thank you very much indeed. We were as far as three. Huh? So in your face, um, Nobber. I'm talking to you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, right, let's see if we can get the fourth one in. Let's go to line four. I'll lick your bum bum down. You're not licking my bum bum down. No one's licking my bum bum down. Right, we start again, line one. Hello. Oh, did, is it, everyone's an idiot. Yes, line one. Hi, mate. My name's Vivi, aka Vicky, aka. Right, what? go away. Go away. Right, let's try. Let's try and start again. Line one. Hello. Say one. One. Yes, line one. Oh, for crying out loud! Right, we're going to start again. Line one. I, th- I think the callers are down ill on a Saturday. Yeah, they're, they're terrible callers on a Saturday. Line one. Hi, Ken. Great show. Right. My dog's got a disobedience problem. Start again, line one. Right, OK. Kippers, anchovies, potatoes. What's racken? Come on. Be serious. I want a serious answer, please. Are you listening? You can all quiet. Once again, is this for eating? No, this is a... No, it's not for eating. No. No, come on. What are you doing with them? What do you mean, what am I doing with them? What are the options again? What do you, what do, you do with kippers? You put, them in, you, put some, you put some in your mouth there, buddy. Don't you? Right, we got uh, kippers. Put some in your mouth. Right, go yeah, away, go away, go away. You, you are really winding me up. Hang up. So I just really, extremely cannot be bothered to hang up. Well, I can't be bothered. To, so you're going to have to listen to the boring Jerry Springer show that comes on afterwards. And I tell you what, it is awful. Yeah, no, I've heard it before. Right, right. We've got, we got 20 seconds to try and do this. Line one. Okay. Oh, right. Who are you? What's your name and where do you live? Right. Hung up. Please hang up. No, I'm waiting for you. I have not enjoyed one second of tonight's show. Good evening, Mr. Badcock. It is Babcock. You're doing all that. Sorry? It's Babcock with a B. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Badcock. B. Badcock. I'm sorry. It sounded like you were saying Badcock. Um, Yes, that's what I'm saying. Your name, David Badcock. No, no, B B A B. Yeah, Badcock. B A B. Bad. Ba- Babid Badcock. No, David Babcock. Badcock. I'm saying Badcock. Oh. Anyway, David, what can we do? Oh, hang on a second. What? We've got to try him out here. Oh, no. See whose side really? is on. Hip, hip, hip. Oh, yo, 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 David. Hip, yo, hip, yo. Oh. <laughs> a fence sitter. <laughs> Weren't expecting that, were you? Well, I was expecting something um, stupid from you, yes. <laughs> mm. Well, I, I just I, I can't. I mean, I, I mean, you, you are the, the the wild man of late night radio, Mister Lee. Yes, uh, 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 apparently so. Yes, but I can't reject my dear Kathleen. Have you been watching um, Big Brother CBB? Do you think I've, I've that filled fun in my living it's room? It's been brilliant. Um, uh, uh, Derek, Derek did a Derek, seance, didn't he? He's done a couple of seances, yeah. They did a seance in the mm-hmm. dark. And one of the, here's what was, was odd. One of the good-looking young men was told by Derek to take all of his clothes off. Was he? Yeah, in the seance. The, the, I think it was Sam was told to strip off. He's gone, strip off, go on, strip off. Got to strip off. He waited to take his clothes off. That doesn't happen in seances, does it? But then he got all David, the others... when you get entered, do you have to strip off first? <laughs> Come on now. What? I'm just he, asking about technique. He was also encouraging the other housemates mm. to channel, to channel spirits. Yeah. So they were channeling spirits. And I thought, David, that to do that, you had to have the gift. Can anyone be entered? Or do you have to be a certain type? I think it's a very, very much you have to discover your limits. I mean... I, as, as you know, I, I've been entered quite a few times, and I think with, with, with time, the more you're entered, the better you get at it. Because you have to get them out again, don't you? And sometimes it can take a long time if you're not used to it. Well, well, as you know, I, I, I get entered up my bottom, mm. and the technique to get them out is, is very much like trumping. But if you imagine, instead of wind, it's... Um, Ectoplasm. 
Ectoplasm, yeah. So you, I like to lie on my back with with my legs. Hello. Yes, your legs. <laughs> Up against my chest. Yep. Like that. Just like that. And I let out a little guff, and uh, that sound. How do you know when they're out, though? Oh, you feel it, Kathleen, you feel it. It's a very nice feeling once they leave you. Hey, up, Ian. Ian. <laughs> yes, David. Yes, David. I think that Ian might be being entered. Oh, God. Oh, no. Sure sounds like it, Kathleen, doesn't I it? I don't <laughs> think I can get in that position to get them out again. I don't think I can do it. How long do you like to pump them? Well, very flexible. Legs right up against the chest. <laughs> By the way, this is not a how-to. It's not to be messed with at home. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it takes quite a lot of training. Hey, I'm coming to London tomorrow, so I'll see you, will I? No, no, you will not see us. No, no, no. I'll be at St. St. Pancreas at about one o'clock. OK. Oh, that's really early for us. Yeah, well, I'll still be asleep then, buddy. Yeah. Oh. That's a shame. Isn't it? How long are you in London for? All the night. We're not on tomorrow night. Oh. Um. It's a pre- re we are, it's a tomorrow night, we are on, t okay, we are on tomorrow night, but it's a pre-recorded, um, uh, best of show, but with all brand new bits. So it will sound. Like we're here, but we're not. It's all pre-recorded best of bits that you won't have heard before. I, I mean, it. I'm not in London often, and you, you two are my best friends, so that's fine. <laughs> Can we just have a tweet from Gaz? <laughs> that Gaz is tweeted. Yes. <laughs> are you all right, Ian? Emotional. You yeah, okay? Just don't find this. <laughs> I'm going to read what he's written. I just don't find this David Cock guy funny at all. Oh, gosh. That's a bit harsh. You're not, you're not trying to be funny, are you, David? David Cock guy. <laughs> I'm trying to be... I'm not, I'm not cock or I'm trying to be taken seriously. Who's this Gary? I'll fight him. <laughs> you, can't, you can't fight people that... Hey, listen, you can't please um, all of the people all of the time. No, if people don't like me, I'll fight them. Okay, that's that's um, a technique. Well, um, l listen, we, we, we would love to invite you to the studio tomorrow. Um, but unfortunately, uh, as we said, it's a pre-recorded best of show with all new bits that nobody's ever heard before. Um, so we, and I'm going to Spain tomorrow. Uh, that's a shame. Uh, Kathleen? Uh. Kath's around. No. She could meet you Coffee for it. lunch. No, I'm, I, oh. actually I can't. Well, is that what you're doing tomorrow, Kath? Because it's told the me... day before my birthday. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. You know. Gen well, not, yeah. you couldn't have a gentleman's pleasure? What? Isn't that not a tradition in your family, gentleman's pleasure? You get to go and meet a gentleman that isn't your husband on the day before your birthday? That sounds very nice. Like, no, that's not... You go and have a know. gentleman's pleasure with David Badcock. Wow. Yes, please. Okay. Um, I'm getting my hair done. I am actually getting my hair done. How long will that take? Ages. Her hair well, is pretty, um... pretty crappy, yeah. It will, take a, it will take a lot of work, David. Coffee, coffee and a chat with Babcock. Okay. That sounds like a great idea for a TV show. Why don't you pitch it to ITV? We've got rid of him. What a weird... They're all Fancy you landing me in it. Have a gentleman's pleasure with David. I don't even know what a gentleman's me, pleasure so is. Don't before, say that like it's a thing. The day before your birthday, you go and have coffee and a chat with a man that isn't your husband, and it's perfectly fine. There's not a court in the land that could do you for it. Well, hang on a minute, Apart though. Apart from a Sharia court. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but it's my birthday. It's my fun times. Why should it be the gentleman's pleasure? Well... Um, oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Give us your stories of gentlemen's pleasure <laughs> <laughs> on Tall Radio. For tonight's show, I guarantee that you will shit your pants. That's right. We have a very special guest with us in the studio this evening. Introduce yourself, special guest. That's you. Oh, sorry. Yes. I can't hear anything. What? I can't hear anything. That's... Oh, can You can hear me talking to you, though. No. Sorry? Hello? Yes. 
Hello. Ca- introduce yourself. Well, I'm David Babcock, aren't I? Special guest. Uh, David Babcock. Okay. Okay. Not plugged in. Oh, for Christ's sake. Are you plugged in now? No. No? Okay. Come on. I'm in. Okay. What? Can you hear can you hear now, special guest? Yes. So introduce yourself again. Hello everybody. I am David Babcock. Um and you are a paranormal activist? Investigator. You you okay, and what does that what does that mean exactly? I investigate the paranormal. Okay. Um Pretty self explanatory, but you're uh you're down um in London for a paranormal conference that's taking place this weekend. Yes. Are you um, speaking at it or are you just a, just a, a punter? Well, what what do you think? I think you're a, you're a punter. Uh, uh, yes, sadly. But one one day I am an as- aspiring uh, gentleman. An aspiring gentleman, you say? Yes. Okay. Um, Lots of um, excellent speakers there. Of course, Derek Akura will not be speaking there because he's in the Big Brother house. Thank Christ. Thank Christ for that. There is there is a real beef. By the way, if you have any questions for David Badcock, 0344-499-1000 is the telephone number. We will call you back. Anything spooky? Um, whereabouts do you live, David? Uh, Maltby Rotherham. Okay. Maybe you've got a question about Maltby Rotherham um, that you'd like um, him to uh, answer. 0344 499 1000. When did you um, first get involved with uh, the supernatural, David? I I don't think I became involved necessarily with the uh, supernatural. I think the supernatural got involved with me. Well, that's the same. That means the same thing, doesn't it? Right. People who say that, they're just saying the same thing, but in a slightly different way, aren't they? Slightly hostile, slightly hostile. The spirits? The spirits came to me, I'd say, a year ago. Okay, okay. I was um, lying in bed, and um, I felt a bit of a uh, movement. And um, yes. I suddenly said, who's there? Because I live alone. Yeah. I said, who's there? Predictable. Well, that's rude. And I was answered. Yes. And it was uh, Bernard. Who's but Bernard? Uh, Bernard Crossley. Okay. Yeah. And yep. Uh, Bernard Crossley was my first uh, companion. Yes. From the other side. Ever. From the other side. Oh. Do you mean sexual? Right. Let Bernard it... Crossley was your first sexual yes. companion. Yeah. Yep. Was he? Yep. Is that what you mean? Yep. Yeah. He'd been very rude, actually. Bernard Crossley was my first companion in the spirit world. I am, of course, a virgin. But let me get this straight. In the physical world, you are a heterosexual virgin? Heterosexual virgin? Do we have to talk about this? I just thought I'd... uh... But in the spirit world, you're a homosexual... Whoa. Gadabout. I, 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 don't, I don't think being entered by spirits is the equivalent of being entered by uh, peni. I'm not judging you, by the way. Uh, each to their own. Catherine just got a shudder then. Catherine is I here. I did, yeah. You're listening to The Late Night Alternative. My name's Ian Lee. This is Talk Radio. You just got a shudder there. I did, yeah. Um, what happened? Did you feel something? Because we, 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 I'm expecting, we've been told to expect mysterious things to happen mm. for oh, the yeah. 22 minutes that David is allowed to stay in the studio. Um... What happened there, Catherine? I think I might have felt David's presence under the table. Okay, let's keep the hands where we can see them. We've Not got, physically. We've got a caller. Paul, good evening. All right, yeah, that's okay, matey. Yeah, yeah, Paul is in St Albans, perhaps one of the most uh, haunted conurbations in Great Britain. Yes. Thank you, Catherine, for uh, the affirmative. Paul, have you got a question for David Badcock? I just don't know how it works. I mean, does he feel it when the spirits enter him, or does he have to reach out? Or I mean, how's it? How's this like, spirit stuff work? How does it work? Do you have to put them in, or do they go of their own accord? It, it, it can be either. I mean, if I'm uh, if I'm if I'm trying trying to contact them, it's, it's of my own volition. But sometimes you just sat there and you feel warmth. <gasps> And they're right oh, up. Feel a bit a good old warmth, is it? I mean, so I work in one of the haunted bits of St Albans. I mean, we've got where I work. We have ghosts all over the place. Have you know? ever been entered? 
I've never been entered. Um, yeah. Thank goodness. That's yeah. all I can say. But I have seen haunted monks walking down the road with their uh, crosses and little spears, little balls mm. or whatever. And haunted monks with haunted or monks or with little spears, Paul. And little balls. Not spears. Spheres. 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 Yeah. Okay. As in on a on a on a rod on a chain, the spear, the incense thing. Yes. The, the, the oh, little, a little, swinger. Swinging balls. Mm -hmm. Not swinging balls. Spinging spheres. Spin spheres. Spin spheres. Spin spheres. No, but, uh, no, spring spheres. Spring spheres. Drove pa drove past them on the road because they are literally working in the most haunted bit. Right. It's Torbins with the Abbey. Yes. Um, I work next door to that. Right. And well, so you don't actually work in the most haunted bit. You work next door to the most haunted bit, which is probably, I'm guessing, not haunted. Chilling. Uh, yes, it actually is. Because is it? it used to be an old prison. Oh. What kind of stuff? Um, what kind of stuff do ghost pri ex prison ghosts get up to, David? Uh, well, I've, I'm, I'm sure you've you've heard the rumours. I, in my experience, prison ghosts do not say please or thank you. No. Before wumpf, right up. Very so I, I I try to not pass prisons where possible. Just Does that answer your question, Paul? Yeah. Okay. Oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand. We have only got David for a limited time. I can stay. I mean, no, 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 no. no. We we said till half past ten, David, and and you know that you know the show. It's very tightly formatted, right. and if we start to if we start to stray, um, then um, uh, it just throws the whole schedule off uh, off kilter, um, really. Um, now, David, we're not allowed to, by the rules of Ofcom, allowed to have a seance on the air. Right. But I was wondering if you felt oh, yes. anything. Oh, yes. What can you feel? I'm feeling the desk. I can feel that. Yeah. Oh, do you mean spirits? Oh, God, yes, of oh, course. Oh, sorry. I, mean I thought you meant what can I feel nearby. No, I meant actual right. uh, s s spirits, yes. Well, I, f I feel them but everywhere. But just, 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 uh, can I just flag up, just to save time, any question I ask you is going to be about ghosts and spirits. Okay. Okay. I feel, as I walk through the door just there. Yeah. And I don't know, this is very, very chilling, very chilling. Was that, did you walk past George Galloway? I saw him walk past me. Yeah. He was wearing a hat. That was actually George Galloway. That's not a ghost of George. Would you like me to be the cat, he said once. Oh. I felt something in that chair. I, you noticed that I didn't want to sit in that chair. Yeah. Mm, yeah. 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 Because that... you in it, but you wouldn't have it. And, and don't, don't look directly there, but there's currently someone sat in that chair right now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, I... How far can we go with this, Ian? What do you mean? All the way. I can make contact. Please do, yes. Right. Hey, right. Not, not up there. Not up there. No, I said no. No, no, no. That, that, get off. Right. Hello. What, what's your name then? Hmm. Is there anybody there? There is somebody there. Oh. I can Hello? Hear... Hello? Who's <gasps> Who's that? Oh, oh. I apologise. Oh. Oh, oh, it's yeah. a caller. Oh, you... Ah, the you... jitters. You broke the spell, Tony. Thanks, Tony. It, it could have been the supernaturally and you never know, mm. do you? You never know. Tony, are you in the same room as your phone? I am in the same room as my phone. Are, are you, you on hands-free? Um, sorry, yeah, can you hear me better now? No, no you haven't done anything different. Okay, let's have a go. Take it off hands-free. Okay, can you hear me better now? No, you haven't done anything different. Uh, you've gone off hands-free and onto my ear. Okay, so. well then that's the best we're gonna get. You're through to David Badcock, Paranormal Investigator. What have you got for him? Very uh, just, just a quick question. <clears throat> um, not discrediting, um, seeing or experiencing his, um, certain statements or experiences. Just one question. Why, why dead people? Why are they ghosts? Why are they hauntings of people that existed previously? Just a little bit of his perspective on that. I don't want to be rude, but are you a flipping idiot? Did you just ask why are ghosts dead people? What a stupid question. Why are well, ghosts no. dead people? What else would they be? Stupid. Cut him off, you know. Sick of that person. Do, 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 you, do you have the s knowledge that they are dead people? Well, they're not alive, are they? Well, what's saying they're people? 
Because they look like people you'd... I nearly swore. So please don't swear. I won't swear. Well, you're getting angry, sir. I'm just merely asking you a question. Well, he was about to be entered and you jumped in. You I was right on the tip. I I've not been entered yet. Um... Oh, it's <laughs> silly. You, you, um, you're taking the mic, uh, are you? Gen gen genuine question, sir. Genuine question. I what? don't mean any malice by it. I just mean these apparitions that people see. Right. Uh, what makes you think that they are people who are who have passed on previously? Right. Quick, quick poll here in the studio. Ian, can you see that person? Uh, no. Kathleen, can you see that person? No. Right, I can. Here go, ghost. Does that answer your question, Tony? Thank you, Jesus. Tony. Thank you, Tony. Uh -oh. Thank you, Tony. Oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand. They're going to be like that, aren't they? Well, uh, um, they will be. There is a lot of scepticism around, isn't there, about the paranormal and about ghosts, and a lot of people think that people like you do it because your um, your day to day lives are just full of failure. Um, misery, that you are pathetic, yeah. as you, you addressed earlier on, you're a virgin, you've right. got no chance of losing the big V, right. you, um, you're, you're unemployed, right. you, um, you're signing on, yep, you're, yep. You're, you're one of life's right. losers, right. that nothing has ever gone right for you, yeah, probably yep. bullied at school, yep, and actually yep. one of the few uh, instances where bullying is probably yep. the right thing to yep. do, yep. You've, you've made nothing of yep. your life, you have very, very poor social skills, yep. um, you, you, you and many people could say that you're using this paranormal right. thing to try and give you a little bit of kudos yep. when, when everything else around you is failure. Right. What would you say to those people? Don't fear the unclear. Oh. What does that mean? It's quite literal. Don't fear the unclear. And I think that, and that was an attack. That was an attack. Right. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having that. And that was an attack, and that came purely out of fear. You fear the unclear. You feel that there's a presence in that chair, and I've, I've highlighted that you to you. And you've um, gone on the attack. I just, some... just as you, your, um, um, your temper rose, mm. you breathed out quite heavily. <sighs> yeah. And I smelt beer. I smelt beer. And I was wondering mm. if you've been drinking this no. evening. Because no. there's a very strange vibe. You've got to ask yourself this, Ian. I come all the way to London for a conference. Yes. Air commas. Very strange air commas. <laughs> okay. That's it. Yep. Um, you've got to ask yourself, did I actually come down to meet my two best friends for a coffee? Who, last night, just last night when I was on the phone to them, yes. said that they would be A, in Spain, B, having their hair done. I right. did get my hair done. It looks very nice. Hang on a minute, are you talking about us? Because we're not friends. <laughs> you've <invited laughs> we're me. not friends and you said best friends. You are my best friend, I ring you every night. Are we not? It's quite sad. I we, we brought we brought you in to laugh at you. I didn't. Right. Um, let's take some messages here. Um, um, Andrew says, "Does David Bobcat have a spirit guide?" That's uh, you, right? Um, not to talk ill of people that are currently potentially in some kind of house, but I think that people who have spirit guides are weak, and therefore, no, I do not have a spirit guide. It is purely my own eruva. Um, what happened to Mr. Crossley? Bernard? Yeah, I thought he was your companion. No, he, he was the first person who entered me. Uh, oh, it was Matt, a one night thing. Matt yeah. says on uh, the uh, Texas, does Mr. Badcock have any advice for a frequent succubus visitation? My girlfriend isn't buying it. Um, depending on the the symptoms, I mean, if if it is becoming a problem, I mean, succubi are quite nasty. They are evil spirits, and if their succubi is um, entering without permission, you heard me when I was talking to the the person in the chair. I was very forthwith, and they they tried to get up there, and I said, no, I'm not having that. Get out. So you've got to be strict with the jabronis. Let's so. Hey, let's go, uh, uh, oh, three, four, 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 nine, nine, one thousand. You've got another ten minutes of this, um, yes. and then we're booting him out. Duncan on Twitter said, this bad penis fella, I thought he was a character created by you and Kath to boost ratings. Well, well, that's very insult. I mean, that, that's more insulting than the, the tirade that Ian went on a while ago. I'm real. Michelle says, ask him if he ever sees the cavemen ghosts, oh, or are the Victorians hogging it all? Do I live in a cave? If I lived in a cave, I'd see cavemen ghosts coming in and out every afternoon. 
But okay. I don't want to live in a flat, so therefore I see people you who see are- flat ghosts. I see flat ghosts. Um... Caveman ghosts. Space Witch says, how do I make myself- it's hard- it's so hard to tell if they're t- if these questions are serious or not. Um, how do I make myself less sexually attractive to spirits? Well, don't- don't parade around in your undies, maybe. Okay. What, what do you do, David? To make myself less attractive? Well... Well, look at me. Okay. Um... Um... Matthew says, can I ask David if wet dreams are just oh. the aftermath of a oh, night no, visit from on. a ghost? Well, uh, it's a good question. Wet dreams is semen that comes out of your penis. It's got nothing to do with paranormal investigation. Okay, that's, uh, that's that cleared up, or not, as the case may be. Ray's on the line. Good evening, Ray. Getting a bit tired of this now. Good evening. Yes, Ray, you're through to uh, David Badcock. What would you like to say or ask? Don't take the pee. All right, c- calm down. Charlton. Sorry? What? The charlatan, David Badcock. Hey! You back down. Where do you live? I'm coming to find you. Back down. Oh, I'm sorry. Flower, hang, on, your hang on a second, David. Right, what, 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 uh, do you, do you know David personally? No. Right. <laughs> no, I don't know. Don't throw d- spoons on just, the neighbour's face. Just calm down, no, please. Th- th- please calm down. We can't have my guests threatening to beat up callers. That, that really would be an off call. <laughs> it's not funny. Right, wh- why do you think that David's a charlatan, man? Well, what, what I don't understand is how... He, he says that the half wit that's in the Big Brother house at the moment is is um, not and, and not very good at what he does. But Can we he just be clear a second? Which half wit you're referring to? Because there are a few in there. Yeah, <laughs> Paul Danan, uh, Derek Akora, or whatever you want to mm. call him. Yeah, yeah Derek Akora. Yeah, we're up. Yeah. Mm. So, Do you want um, to know why he's, a, in uh, my words, a, well, uh, can I call him a charlatan? No. Right. Um, Ray, so I just don't understand why you think that, that David is a charlatan. What, what's he done or not done? Well, in the last ten minutes, claim, claiming to see a ghost in a chair, a feet away from you two. So, just say that again, Ray, because your phone's crap. Uh, claim to see a ghost in a chair, a few feet away from you two. It could happen. Well, uh, he's, he makes a good point, David. Maybe you are a charlatan. Oh, I thought you meant I made a good point. No, you, um, he, um, Ray made a good point. I am not a charlatan. Describe the ghost, then, that you c- you apparently can see. It's a bit embarrassing. Go yeah. on. Well, because she's in her undies. Oh. Now, he couldn't have made that up, Ray, could he? Just Why then? would I? Why would I? Did he say she? Because a minute ago he said it was a he. Well, it's hard to tell under these lights. Could be a trans ghost, I could don't be know. A trans ghost. Listen, you wise guy, stop taking the Michael out of me and go and make a cup of tea and a biscuit and have an early night. Get lost, Ray. Get lost. Um, Andre, you're through to uh, David Badcock. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, what would you like oh, to David. say to David? David? Yes. Yeah, are you the spirit man? Of course I am. Who yeah, else well, could well, I be? Well, Why have you been listening? Oh, yeah, I have. I've been out tonight, yeah. Oh, and makes I, a change. I mean, I've been listening for that half hour, yeah, a quarter of an hour. Right. And I found myself, while I was out, very attracted to spirits. Oh. And I don't know what to do about it, but oh. I'm very attracted to them. Right, well, yeah, what's, yeah. What's the answer? Yeah, were their names you know, Captain Morgan, by any chance? <laughs> Johnny Sorry? Walker. All of them. Jack Daniels. Yeah, Peter I'm Malibu. I can go yeah, on. Living it off. Um, Steve uh, Jin? Is that one? Steve, Steve, Steve Jin. Are you still there, Andre? What, what? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. I went through the whole lot of the spirits. Uh, right, I've got five minutes left in my national radio, uh, dem- uh, what's it called? Debut. Virgin, right, yes, debut. Yeah. If I don't have a serious call by the time I've come out, I'm going to be very upset. Good, I'm going to have to say goodnight, Andre. <laughs> There we go. It's not a- uh, well, uh, well, let's just, um, uh, see what we're going to do. We're not allowed to have a seance by the rules of, uh, the, the no. Gotham Radio. But what we can do is we can try and have a seance to summon a caller. So we've got no okay. calls on the switchboard. We've got you for five more minutes. Right. And it, it, it has been, it, it, I'll let you into a secret, dear listener. D- d- um, David and I, um, uh, were discussing this throughout the day. And he has persuaded me that he thinks this would make a, a fun, regular, weekly slot. And I said, I don't think it would. It's a bit old fashioned, a bit hackneyed and ghosts aren't real. But he has, uh, begged to come in tonight for half an hour. He said, no. I will, I will do half an hour audition and it will blow their minds. Who's that? Uh, that's you. And, um, Sounds a lot like there's only five minutes of this audition piece left. 
and it's not gone very well so far. So, I, I, on the strength of the first 20 minutes, this will be a one-off. <sighs> Unless the next five minutes really, really turns it around, uh, then my radio instinct um, would be proven right. Let's go to, um, yes, Jonathan. Hello, David. Hello, Jonathan. A bit close, sorry. Hey, listen, I, I wanted to ring in because I'm going to be honest with you. I do have doubts about some of your cl uh, claims. Right, move on. But I don't want you to go away from tonight yes. downhearted or victimised. Look, if you think you've got a gift, keep working at it. Right. Uh, doesn't matter what I think, it doesn't matter what Ian thinks or Kath thinks or what social media thinks. Yes. If, you, if you've got a gift... Find the power. Pursue it. Have you ever been Absolutely entered, Jonathan? Pursue it. And don't let the uh, 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 naysayers and the hypocrites... And the mainstream media. ...get you down. Right. Thank you, Jonathan. Well, wow, uplifting words from a from a, a, a racist. That's um. Is he with a racist? Yeah, he was a ra he's oh, a racist. Yeah. So the one person that's been on my side is a racist. That's correct. Um, but he doesn't mind spirits, no matter what colour they are. Yeah. French tickler, you're through to David. Mm. Hi, how are you, David? Well, he's not French. Why well, were you a tickler? You'll find out. That's oh. better. Steady on, pal. You're nowhere near my bottom. Just can't, g David. You've got right. three minutes left, mate. And on the strength of what we've had so far, this ain't going to be. This is a one-off, and, and we'll delete this. We won't even put this out it, as a podcast or anything. We'll, we'll delete it from the listen again feature. So, <laughs> French, uh, you, you're through to David. What would you like to ask him? Hi, I was home alone last week, right. and it was getting late. It was after Ian show had finished, right. and I heard, heard creaking. Mm -hmm. Upstairs, mm -hmm. I was getting very frightened. Mm -hmm. I went. I, I was going to investigate, mm -hmm. and there was groaning as I was getting closer. Mm -hmm. I was getting frightened even more. Mm -hmm. Opened the door, mm -hmm. and I found my mum being bummed. Oh, <laughs> go away! Oh, go away! I was with him. What a reset for the world. Apologies to anyone that may have been offended by that. Let's try this, Mark. Three minutes. Two. Oh, hello, hello, Mark. You're through to David. All oh, right. Listen, um, I'm, I don't want to disappoint David, but I think there is no such thing as ghosts. Shut up. But, no, listen, you haven't heard me. Just listen, there David. There are spirits out there which are demon demonic. They can't even talk. Doug, just David. let him, David, well, please. He's a it, we've listened to you. Give him a bit of respect, all right? He's nervous. Sorry, Mark, you're talking about mm -hmm. demonic spirits. Yeah, we're going to say there are demonic. Demonic? Suck your bye. Suck your bye. Demonic spirits. That's it. They are out there, but human beings can't come back. I've never seen a human being ghost. But just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean I haven't seen it. You jabroni. What, what's wrong with these people, Ian? Help me. I've never seen, um, a camel, Mark, but I believe right. they exist. Right, right. Case in point. Ding, ding. Oh, he's on the well, floor. Well, if, he, if he believes in ghosts, it get us the lottery numbers. Well, the third's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, I've been let let's down take, by let's idiots. Let's take one more call. Let's, let's, oh, let's take this up. This is Tim. Good evening, Tim. Oh, oh good evening, God. I've been listening to this for half an hour and it's got oh, creased up. Right. Um, I've got to... I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not a religious person. I don't particularly believe in an afterlife. No, but... Well, yes. but um, what uh, I, I do think... Is um, keep it going. Um, One minute, Tim. Never really go away, do they? What? We we don't really ever go anywhere. I mean, you, you die. Um, there's, there's still the same amount of matter in the universe now as there was at, yep. at, the, at the Big Bang. So right. it's all got to be somewhere. Qu hurry up! Yep. Yes, yeah, yeah, no, I fully um, agree. There's 1% of uh, the human, uh, no, I'm speaking now. There's 1% of the human right. composition. Nobody can explain it. That is your spirit, and when you're buried, your body's still there. Right. So, Tim, do you, have you seen a ghost, Tim? Uh, no. no do do you believe uh, it? Oh, turn I, your radio down. Ghosts, I, 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 well, as, as, Quickly. as, Spirit manifestations, this, that, and that, I'm not sure. But what I do think is, um, is probably like, um... Hurry, it's a belong. You know, uh, storing, storing information on a tape. 
yes. uh, magnetically. Uh, so yes, and yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes, Tim. Um, Tim, would you would you like this? There's, 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 there's magnetism oh, all around us and cold. magnetic anomalies. Yes. You know? oh, we passed off an hour. Tim, right, would, no, 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 please don't be rude to the callers, David. He's, he's, he's had the decency to call up, mate. D- d- you have the decency to listen to him. He nice. moves a bit dull. Uh, Tim, would you like to see this be a regular weekly feature? Yeah, yes, I would, actually. Let him answer that. I saw, I saw you do it. <laughs> would you, Tim? Yeah, why not? All right, well, okay, that's well, right. But the public have spoken. Here's the last call for, for David tonight. Ben, you're the last call through to David Badcock. Yes, I think it's very good as well. Shut up. <laughs> Ben? Hello? Yeah, you're through to David. Hey, David, I know it's your last call, mate. Just wanted to say, spirit's doing this. Yes. I'm, I'm sure you, I'm sure you, I'm sure you're very good at what you do, mate. Oh. Uh, from past experience myself, I have seen them. I, right. do know I do know they're there. I don't actually know what you do, I've just heard you get a load of abuse, so I thought I'd give you a call and say hi. Beautiful man. Don't fear the unclear, my brother. Take it easy, buddy. Yeah, I love you. Thank I mean, you sorry, ben. I didn't mean to say that. Um, well, David, it's been dis- as, uh, pretty much as I predicted. Um, so we're all off for coffee. Never, no, no, no. I'm going to do another. Busy. Me and Catherine do another two and a half hours of the show, and we're going to ask you to leave the building and forget this place ever existed. Okay, I'll be back next week. Then. Okay, out you go. Off I go. Turn off the spooky music. Bye, Kathleen. Well, I'll come with you. Make sure you go out. Out you, you go. About. Out you go. I'll show you your hand. No. <laughs> you won't. Goodbye then, Ian. Come on, David. Goodbye then, Ian. Lovely to think of you. I can only apologise. Here's Paul from Liverpool. Oh, that was beautiful, Ian. I enjoyed that. I loved it. Sparks, one of the greatest bands of all time. Ian, I discovered the best medicine that the world had to offer today. Hello? Yeah, what, what, what? That wasn't a question. You made a statement. Continue. Yeah. Yeah, I went to the beach in New Brighton, you know, near Liverpool. It's a beautiful beach there, and the sun was shining. Not too hot. I like a little bit of cloud cover. I don't like too strong sunshine. But someone had built this pirate ship out of, uh, you know, just driftwood. But it was incredibly well done. I mean, it had mast, it had uh, sails on, it had rigging. And there was a gang of kids there. There must have been 30 kids under the age of 10. And they occupied this pirate boat as pirates. And half of them become attackers. And it was like this spontaneous opera on the beach. They were fighting each other for control of this ship. And it was just so joyous to see kids being kids, you know. It's just fantastic. Young kids are just fantastic. What they are fantastic. They, they, are, they are fantastic. And I've got two boys myself. Um, I was wondering... Um, yeah. Uh, why you think I'm a bad dad? Uh, I don't think you're a bad daddy. I don't know what sort of dad you are, but I, I know we yeah, you made you made you, made you made you made you you tweeted um, uh, you tweeted yesterday uh, implying yeah. that I was a bad dad. Well, <laughs> we can all improve, Ian. No, no, no. The implication was not that I could improve; that I was a bad dad. Yeah, but I knew that would hit you, you see, because you were trying to hit me with some nasty No, did, no, it didn't hit me. I just thought, I just thought it was, it didn't, no, it didn't hit me. Just, I feel, every one of those tweets, I've muted well, you now, but I feel sad for you. I'll read it out for those who missed it. I wish oh, I could say, told yourself, Ian. I wish I could say you were an ex-junkie, Ian. Come on, be a good dad, get clean. Yeah, that's a good, that's good advice, that, Ian. That's excellent it's advice. It's not, and you, when did you get, you, I know you're a doctor, but you're not a med- medical doctor, are you? Uh, no, 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 true. no. So you, you, you're, the reference for those who don't get it—that me getting clean and being a junkie—that's a reference to the antidepressants I take. Well, I mean, I know you get very defensive about these, Ian, but it would be better for you if you got off them. I think. No, it wouldn't, it, because it's my medicine. Well, you say that, but like smackheads say, smacks their medicine. It's not is it though. So, so because I take because I no no don't listen. We got all night. But Go don't on. rush. So because okay. I take a medicine that um, stops my that that aids, and I'm not going to be taking it forever. Of course not. It's 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 temporary. But yeah, because yeah. I take a medicine that um, helps um, um, uh, relieve the tension that I feel and helps lift the blackness, and and more often than not stops me wanting to kill myself. Because I take that medicine, I'm a bad dad. Could you explain that, Paul? Yeah, yeah, you're being a bit delusional because it's not helping you in. 
You think it's helping you. It's not. It's actually making your condition worse. I mean, it's triggering off bad nightmares. We know that. We know you've got suicidal uh, mood swings. And we also know that you, now you're starting to put on body weight, which is going to lower your self-esteem. So it's not good, Ian. It's not helping you. If you got off that medicine, right, I don't think you need that medicine. I mean, I can hear your soul, Ian. There's nothing wrong with you. You're the problem for, with you, Ian, is the medicine. Um, Return, serve. Yep, okay, sure. Far right politician. Ha <laughs> ha you wanted, what are you trying to discredit me now? Because I've caught you kicked out. out of party for saying, no. here's the thing I've discovered with you, Paul. I don't, I don't you need, need, I don't, don't I, Paul, the Paul, fake news. Paul, don't you, I'm going to read it and you can news. come, I'm going to read it and you can come back. We've got, we've got all it's night. Fake if it's, news, we've got Ian. all night if we take, if it takes, but uh, here's the thing yeah, I've yeah. discovered. I don't need to do anything to, to ruin your image. You, you do it yourself. Let's just read this. Far-right politician kicked, museum. kicked out of party for saying Liverpool Football Club cursed by God for supporting yes. gay pride. That's A far-right politician... Is, it, is this true on, or is this fake news? Fake news. Okay. A far-right politician has been far kicked right. out of his party of after claiming Liverpool yeah. FC were cursed by God for promoting homosexuality. That's true, that's true. So, hang on, how do we, so we're cherry-picking what's true and what's fake news, are we? Well, I wasn't kicked out the party. I mean, that, that's a statement that okay. I made. all right. That was, let's carry on with the story. On let's, Facebook, let's get with the story. English Democrat Paul Rimmer... Yes, yes. ...was widely condemned after making uh, alleged <laughs> homophobic remarks on his public Facebook page. The Ooh, former blah, blah, UKIP blah. candidate and ex-BNP activist... Yeah, um, yeah that's true. ...ex-BNP... You like that, Ian, don't you? That 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 stares that, that stay something in you. I love that. Come on. XBM, former UKIP candidate and ex British Nationalist Party activist. Yeah, yeah. Said, quote, from the Bible, sodomy yes. defiles a nation. Those yeah, who yeah. promote it will be punished punished and vomited out of the land. It took us that. Yeah. Yeah. The 52 year old who was the English Democrats candidate in St. Michael's in May 20, uh, a few years ago told the Echo he intended to stand for the party. And it did. It stood as mayor twice. And police commissioner. A lot of votes. Let me read another quote. That's, uh, that quote that I did from scripture, that's spot on, that Ian. I didn't, that's uh, the word of God I'm speaking there, mate. Okay, that's not then. my. Opinions. That's the word. No, no, no. I, I, don't you worry. I'll, 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 I'll get. I'll get to your opinions. I'll get to your opinions. You can mock me, but the Lord will not be mocked. Every, here's another quote from you. Everyone yeah. knows homosexuality is wrong. Of course they do. But now we have to pretend it's nice and normal, yeah. and anyone who points out it's a perversion is evil. That's, this is well, a deep. Weird, let it? me finish. This is a deep moral and spiritual sickness. In our nation. Yeah, yeah. And how. His other social media posts include criticism of the BBC for being totally unpatriotic, anti-Christian, and yes. anti-white. Yes. Anti-white. What does that mean? Yes. Uh, they've got it down on white people. And worshipping sodomy and blackness. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's the wrong thing to worship. What's but blackness? It's in the nation. Blackness is well. It's the opposite of whiteness, I suppose. Ian. I don't know what it means. You'll have to be. You'll have to be. Okay. Speak to me like a minute, Paul. You've got you've got racial prejudice, right? Hello. I'm, I, 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 it's not a quiz. Carry on. Go on. Yeah, you got racial prejudice. You can have prejudice of white people against black people, but you can also have reverse racial prejudice. But then you can have this strange uh, phenomenon, which is like white self-loathing, which the BBC used to exhibit, but I don't think the BBC is that white anymore. And that's about whites hating themselves and being racially prejudiced against themselves, which is a strange phenomenon. Um, it's all demonic, Ian. Black people work at the BBC as well. I've, se I've seen one. Oh, yeah. Um, but now, yeah. Um, but this thing, it. everyone knows, everyone knows, everyone, everyone knows know. homosexuality is wrong. Of course they do. Sodomy, homo, homo sodomy is damaging to the body. It's a violence against nature. It's not right, Ian, and you know that. How, how do you know it's, uh, it's, it's not right? Have you tried it? No, because we have a book called the Bible, which is the Word of God, and I believe that's Every, true. But that statement is wrong. Everyone knows homosexuality is wrong. That statement is simply incorrect, because, obviously, 
Not everyone knows it's wrong. Morally, it's wrong. We all know it's wrong. But look, look, Ian. Morally, it's wrong. Why is it? Why is it? Why is it morally wrong? Well, it's unnatural, isn't it? To start with. Do you know that forty percent? I heard this statistic the other day. Yes. Forty percent of male sheep. Yes. Only have sex with other male sheep. Did you know that? Uh, no, I've never it's true. It's true. I, it's it's, it's statistically true. To sheep. I used to work on a sheep farm. I've never seen that. Couldn't give a couldn't give a toss. It's absolutely true. So it's <laughs> it, homosexuality is runs rife throughout the animal kingdom. Well, what are your eyes for, Ian? My eyes are for looking at dicks. I don't know. What do you want me to say, Paul? I'm not doing. I'm not doing twenty questions. Your eyes are tell for me. Seeing. Tell me what why... is your sperm for? What's your seed for? What, why was it created? Your seed to go up on the men's backsides? No, it was there to, to fertilize an egg. That's the natural product of your seed. That's what you're there so for. So because because of because of that um, schoolyard argument. Everyone knows homosexuality yeah. is wrong. No, it goes beyond that. We know it's wrong because it's a, it's men and women are compatible with each other. They come together and they bear fruit. They have children. Men and men are not compatible with each other. It's not natural. A for you. far right politician. Oh, that's just a label. It's an empty label. Here. Well, I would say BNP and English Democrats are far right parties. No, no, well, I've, I've never been regarded myself as far right. Is well, that, no, I mean, you haven't, but you were a member of the BNP, and you used to yeah, love Nick Griffin. Uh, I, I did actually admire him for a time. A far right a... politician I'm is not far right. to sue Merseyside police. Yes, for oh, flying, case, mate. for flying a. Case. Let, let me finish, Paul. For flying a gay rights flag. Above it's a police a gay right station. Flag, a gay flag, a gay flag. What's a gay flag? We, I, I went in to inquire what the flag was. And I said, what's that flag above the police station? Because they used to have the union no, flag. No, there. you didn't. What's a gay, what's said, a gay flag? It was a rainbow flag. I, I'd heard of the Rainbow Coalition, which was a Greenpeace movement. English Democrat. This is going back a few years. Paul Rimmer, who yeah. failed in his bid to become mayor of, Li- of Liverpool was arrested after an argument in Toxteth Admiral Street Police Station yes. over the flying of the iconic rainbow flag. Yes. Uh, city leaders today condemn Mr Rimmer's actions and praise the flag, uh, pla- praise the police for flying the flag. <laughs> on, That's comical, isn't it? On international... <laughs> you OK? Yes, fine. On yeah. International Day Against Homophobia. Oh, God. <sighs> I mean, you might Today, Mr. Stuff, Rimmer you, denied yeah. he was homophobic, saying the police are supposed to represent all sections of society and not discriminate in favour of particular groups. Here, here. Let's have a listen to this. Listen to English Democrat justify his racist and homophobic remarks oh, when confronted <laughs> by the Liverpool Echo <laughs> hey, You've got a, got a lot of good research here, Ian. There we go. Let's have a listen to this. This is a reporter phoning you up. Let's have a listen to this. This is good, this. Go on, Ian. Let's play. Hang on a minute. I've got to play this. Uh... Rock and roll, hey. And now you're singing Gary Glitter. It's important because um, someone has forwarded a bunch of um, screenshots from Facebook with um, some um, some posts by you, which is yeah. very dodgy, to be honest. Um, yeah. The, one of them says, all the Muslims are going home and we can all relax again. Um, yeah. yeah. There's, just in case you missed it, there's a, a, a post you've, you've put, I, don't know if it's, I think it's Twitter. All the yeah. Muslims are going home. And we can all relax again. What do you mean by that? Relax. Well, we're, we're under threat. Interesting. You chose know? to sing a song up there about gay sex. That's um, relax. Freud. Freud yeah. would have a well, field day. That's about gay sex. That song, Paul. <laughs> yes, I know that. Ian. I'm not naive. You know that. Yeah, I think uh, obviously Freud I, I would think have a field the day. Muslims are our enemies. They view us as the enemy, the West, and they've come to displace us and replace us. And so we're under threat, Ian, and if they went home, we'd all relax and we'd know we're under threat. Okay, let's listen to, let's carry on. It's time for a purge. Time to rid our yeah. land of all the trash who've polluted our people of England. Yeah. Time to rid our happy land of all the trash who have be- uh, polluted our beloved England. Here, here. So you stand, Thank you, you stand by those things? Of course I do, it's just oh. common sense. Okay, um... 
Well, the most trash in the country. Oh, yeah, so you I stand, mean, you, hang on, Paul, hang on a second. You stand yeah, by, so. you stand by both of those things. All the Muslims are going, we can relax, and it's time no, for No, that was a joke. That was a joke. I have no power. The Muslims aren't going. That was a joke. But, but you'd like I that. Mean, I, you'd like that. Well, people did respond by the thing that people do want to relax in. It's they don't time for a purge. Time to rid our happy land of all the trash you've polluted our bl- uh, beloved England. You stand by that, yeah? Well, well, who wants trash? Okay, let's carry on, let's carry on. Just like, attract me. Hang on. I was wondering why you were making those sorts of comments. Uh... <laughs> oh, by the way, do you mind if I record the phone conversation? Just... No, no, it's not. Cool. Yeah. It was all tongue-in-cheek, really. Right. Just a joke. It's all tongue-in-cheek, really. Of course it's tongue-in-cheek. It's just a joke. Of course it is. You're a horrific man. You're not a Christian. <laughs> I genuinely think, Paul, oh, I genuinely yeah, think, th- I genuinely think, Look, Ian, hand on like heart, that you are, you are like unwell. I don't like people being blown to pieces. Ian, Ian. I don't like people being blown to pieces. What, what, what do you think, what I think, you... Paul? I love kids being blown to pieces. Yeah, what yeah, a stupid happy, question. What a stupid question. You never question. tried to stop the people coming in, did you? You never tried to stop the murderers coming into this country. Because most I mean, of, hang on a minute, the, most of the terror, the guy that did the, Paul, listen to yourself. You're spouting BMP rhetoric. No, I'm not. Most, the guy that did the bomb at Manchester Arena Someone was BD, yeah. was born here. You, he was pudding. from Libya. He was if he was a Libyan refugee. All right, he was from Libya, but most of the others were born here. No, they weren't. I mean, those guys in Spain the other day—they were from. I'm Morocco. not they talking were, about those ones. Island. I'm talking about well, I'm the talking ones about here. The Ian, kids are being killed across Europe. Paul. People are being murdered across Europe. Paul. We don't want it, Ian. Paul. We don't want people to be murdered. And Get you're real. Paul. Stop taking jokes out of people's lives. Kids are being blown up. Kids are being maimed. It's not a joke, Ian. You're a thoroughly unpleasant. It's not a joke, and it's not a, it's not a thing for slander. Kids are losing their lives, and you need to hold. You need to uh, take responsibility for that. You're letting the people in who are doing it. You're backing the people who are doing it. You're a hideous man, Paul. No, it's not. The people that are the hideous ones are the ones who are killing the kids and the ones who are enabling them to kill our kids. They're the hideous ones, Ian. You are a disgrace to the no, Christian faith. No, the disgrace faith. is the politicians who have allowed these people into our country to kill us and to maim us. And there's going to be more, Ian. There's going to be more bombings, more killings. You and we've got to take action. You Christians a great disservice. Oh, uh, no, no, Ian. You are playing a game, mate. You're not facing reality. People you are being killed. You do Christians a great disservice. Oh, Your soul is very dark. You are a hideous you, man. Ian, are a junkie. And I, I don't, don't take you seriously, mate. And you I are d- a self-confessed junkie. No one takes you seriously, Ian. You are a self-confessed junkie. That's how you just self-describe yourself on Twitter. So you have no right to judge anybody because you are living on a drug. You're just a drug speaking, just candy talking. That's all it is. You've got no soul, mate. Your soul's buried under a heap Paul? of drugs. Be Paul? real, Ian. Let Paul? your soul out, man. Paul? Get rid of the drugs and let your soul Paul? out. Stop pretending that you need these stuff because you don't. Paul? <laughs> you are one of the worst people. I have. He's put the phone down. One of the worst people I have ever had the misfortune and displeasure to speak to. You are a disgrace to this country to the fantastic city of liverpool and to the christian faith people who don't like christians it's it's partly because of people like you because they assume all christians are like you and i know they're not i don't have a problem with christians at all i also don't have a problem with jews or with muslims um to imply that (laughs) Somehow, the, the the terrorist atrocities are unconnected. What, you, what you've heard there, dear listener, is the ramblings of a very, very dark soul. A very dark soul indeed. And I hope that Paul doesn't call this show anymore. This is Talk Radio. I wasn't going to come in tonight because I didn't feel very well today. I'm glad I did because this show has been... Um, has been a, a, a dream and a joy. Um, 0344 499 1000 is the telephone number. Good evening, David. No, 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 no. Oh, Christ. Um, Ian. David, what's wrong? 
I'm in the right deliver pickle. Okay, go on. Let's see if we can sort it out. Don't well, panic. I'm, I'm a bit. Uh, I'm a bit. Near. I don't want to. Right. I'm scared that people will listen and take the meat and make out to me. No, David. No one would. Do. Well, if they do, they're 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 not worth bothering about. What's wrong? Have you been entered again? Well, no, 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 kind of the, the other way around, right, right. I need you to just stay with me, right? Okay, well, okay. So, some, sometimes, and only sometimes, behind, I get a real, real urge to do some spring cleaning in, 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 late at night. Yes, I know what you mean. I used to get that. It's, it's, it's quite, it's quite therapeutic. Yeah, well, exactly. So you're on my level, right? But I, I mean, I've been in. in, in oh. I'd been in bed and I was not obviously not I was declothed, right? Okay. So I thought, oh, I'll do I'll do some Hoovering, right? Oh. And, uh, uh oh, I've got me I've got me Willie stuck in Hoover. Okay, dokey. Now and I don't it swelled up. Okay, is it now when you say you got it stuck in Hoover? Um, is it one oh. of those nozzles or is it Nozzle. like the, the one you push along and you the, the, with the the the, nah. bla the thing underneath? No, 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 it's a nozzle. It's, it's a, nozzle, a nozzle, okay. okay. Is it a Henry Hoover? No, no, it's a Vax. Okay, good, because at least he's not looking at you. Uh, can no. I ask how this happened? Well, I flipped. On? Into? The nozzle. Okay. Right. Can, can, you t can you turn it to blow? I don't think it's got this set. I, I was thinking maybe that if I... Um, turn it on again. The, the the air passing over my shaft might uh, provide some kind of buffer, and I could dislodge it. You could make a shaft uh, buffer out of. But did, well, t have you got? It? Can you turn it on now, David? Shall I try it? Let's have a go. Right, one second. Keep our fingers right. crossed for you. Right, three, two, one. <laughs> Well, that didn't bloody work. What, what, what happened? What exactly happened? Oh. You right? nearly ripped it, he nearly ripped it off. Okay. What you need to do is you, you need to turn it on and you right. need to twist it. Twist it. Like you're twisting, um, a, a jam jar lid. And as yeah. you're twisting the, the shaft of the, the nozzle of the, the vacuum cleaner, you need to, um, pull your penis Oh, out of the don't ask me how i know this you need right. to you need to to twist and pull should he be buttering this beforehand no 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 don't don't get don't involve any lubricants because it's gonna that would get Ooh. nasty twist and pull but it's got to be on right twist and pull Th three yep. two one <laughs> well, is that all right no i hang on there we go <laughs> <laughs> it's not budging. Can I ask a question? Yep. Is <laughs> is your bag full? Or is it empty? Have you got a full bag or an empty bag? It's not a bag, it's a cylinder. What do you mean? <laughs> I might. How much hoovering did I... you do before you phoned us? Is what he's asking. Well, I haven't hoovered in a while, to be honest, Gaff. Um, should I ring nine nine nine? Let's just hold off. Let's just hold off from the nine 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 for a moment. There must be. Why don't you take it outside? I can't take it outside, Gaff. Me knobs in an hoover. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not got a backyard? No, I live in a flat. Oh, <laughs> oh that's going to be problematic. Is there an oh. is there a neighbour that can that can pull it off for you? And for, for, frankly, not. No, my neighbours think I'm weird for some reason. Could you it's stick weird. it out the window? No, it's a Hoover. It'll drop down and yank it off. Well, you need to um, cool yourself. Okay, it's going purple. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, oh Christ! You could try, and this is going to sound. You could. Is there any leeway at all? Could you get one of your balls in? <laughs> no, because well, that, what that will do, that might break the seal. If you've got a ball, one of your balls in, that might break the seal a bit. Or a pinky? Um, try, try a ball first. Right. 
and that might break the seal and and, and release the, the the pressure. Um, you sure? Pretty much, yeah. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> Is the ball in? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, we're nearly there. Can you get the other ball in? Absolutely, bloody not. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go back, Catherine. You mentioned butter. <laughs> you might be a bit late for well, butter. Um, Can you? Have you got any? Have you? Even if it's like, I can't believe it's not butter. Marge. Utterly butterly. <laughs> what have you got? Have you got any cream? Olivio. I think it's a bit late for butter. Okay. I've got a testicle trapped in my nozzle. <laughs> okay. Um, How long's your ooh. nozzle? Could you pull it off and blow down the other end? Absolutely oh. not. No. Okay. Um, God, this is this is hard, isn't it? Um, is it? Okay. Um, I'm I'm gonna be honest, David. I I I oh by the way, oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand. If anybody out there I tell you what, David, look, we'll take some adverts. Um Hello? he's not going anywhere. Um if anybody's got any suggestions for the last twenty minutes of the show on how David can get his penis out of the uh, uh, uh vax. Maybe you have a friend that's yep. happened to. Yep. Oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand we'll take we'll take calls straight to air to save time if you phone up we'll, we'll put you straight on and straight through to david badcock badcock by name um we'll come back after this break very unusual situation uh, we're going to take calls straight to air if you can offer any advice to uh, uh, our caller oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand it's david badcock regular to on the show david can, can you just just describe describe what's going on there please well I'm, i can say that during that advert, and this is a sentence you never thought you'd hear, during that advertisement break, I did manage to dislodge my testicle from the Hoover nozzle. Okay. My sh my shaft remains well and truly wedged. Okay. Michael on Twitter says, "Put the vax on reverse suction power so it blows the penis out." It's not got reverse. So why would the Hoover have a reverse suction? Well, for this kind of eventuality. Well, exactly. I guess. Um, mm. It 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 could be worse. I know someone who who had a similar situation but it ended up with with a prolapse so it could yeah christ yes um but line line one have you got uh, any suggestions for david badcock right my suggestion is david do you own a shower yes okay you know the part of the pipe that you've got your appendage stuck in can you take that off from the actual pipe itself um, can you take the, the, the sort of long hose bit that your penis has entered? Can you remove it from the vacuum cleaner? Can you, the, can from you the remove it from, from, the, from the Hoover itself? Yes. Yeah. So it's just, so it's just swinging the free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One second. Yep. Uh, in theory, I mean, oh my god! <laughs> Come on, you bugger! It's life or death. Right. Uh, I need two hands. Hang on. Jason, Jason on Twitter is saying you might need to phone the fire brigade. They might have to cut it out. Mm. Absolutely oh. not. <laughs> I don't want to worry you, David, but this is time sensitive. I'm sure you're aware of that. Mm. I've got one end out. Okay. What What should he do once he's 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 released the pipe, Star? Right, basically, he needs to go to his shower, turn it on, full blast, on cold, mm. and have the water ah. shooting down the other end of the pipe. Ah! Is, to shrink the penis? The force of the water shooting down will force it out, plus the cold water will help shrink it. And how do you but, know this? Have you, have you had to deal with this situation before? No, I used to have a friend whose auntie worked in A&E and she came across 
many of different stories of different things that have happened Sorry? and she used to have fun telling us all these different stories I of love that, that came patient, into the A&E. Uh, um, uh, nurse confidentiality how many times <laughs> yeah. how many times did she come across someone with a, uh, a hoover on their penis um only a couple of times but there's been other oh. cases where there's people come in that have had um baked bean cans go missing and their excuse mm. was they was doing spring cleaning and they fell <laughs> um one had a um glass milk bottle stuck on his, his end of his penis and he turned around and said that he was outside he needed a wee and he wanted to use the bottle and it was called and it got stuck yeah. I'm out. I'm out. Out where? Are you out? Did it work? I've, unplug I've unplugged it. Right. No, what do you mean? Hang on. Absolutely fantastic. I, no, hang on. Have you unplugged the penis or the Hoover? No, no Hoover. It, it, no, no, it looks like an elephant's trunk. Okay. Right. So, thank oh. you very much for that stuff. So, the, the, your penis is out of the Hoover now. No, no, no. The, the Hoover's not. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Let's see if. Um, hello, line three. Oh, hello there. Uh, I'm just calling uh, for Bab Babcock's Badcock yes. um, scenario. I want to ask, uh, uh, does he own Torgan powder? No. Babcock, do you have uh, Torgan powder? You don't? Well, no. Oh, well that, that, well, that screws my whole idea. Because basically what you do is you put a bit of Torgan powder on the shaft. I haven't got any Torgan powder. Oh, uh, uh, do you have a hairdryer? No. How can you not have a hairdryer? Everyone's got what? a hairdryer. I don't have a wife. Actually, you, you put the talcum powder on. I've done this many times. I've, I've got my uh, member stuck in a, in a Uber a couple of times in the past. You put a little bit of talcum powder on the uh, on the pipe uh, on the, and on the shaft, and then use a, a, a hairdryer to blow some cold air, which uh, shrivels uh, the said member. And uh, that's your, your your answer, but obviously you're saying you haven't got any talcum powder. Where so about? Hang on a second, let's, uh, David. Whereabouts are you based? Maltby. Right. The, the the caller. Are you anywhere near Maltby? Maltby? I am not. I am. Uh, right. I, I'm in the right. north, but I could get in the car. I mean, I could be there in a couple of hours. I, I'm, uh, I'm uh, hoping we can get it sorted before then. Let's try. Before then, won't mm. it? Let's try this one. Line one. Just think of Julia Hartley for a okay. naked. Okay, there we go, there we go. Thank you very much, indeed. Uh, that's, terrible um, thing to say. That's a terrible... May, 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 I, may I, I, at this point, in, interject? I don't know. Are you able to interject with that stuck on the end my, of your... Uh, my... My, um, <laughs> <Yeah>? my, <laughs> my... My penis isn't engorged. It's, it's just a very small nozzle. No, it's swollen with the passage of air. No, well, I know a vac I know a vacuum is, is, is a vacuum cleaner has created a vacuum. It's Which like it those pumps they use. Yeah, um, right. it, it, it creates a vacuum, and it's it's um, it, it it can make even the littlest man um, stand proud. Ste steady on. Yep. So what we need to do is uh, here's the thing though: the longer it's there, the more chance there is of. Um, well, um, w what we call cockbite, and your penis falling off. No, no. Yeah, 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 it is. And I'm just wondering, um, 0344 499 is the telephone oh. number. Huh? Cock, cock bite. Yeah, it's like frostbite. But on the... Yeah. And, um... I don't know. Uh, so then the, here's the irony. You called your fan club cock lovers. Now look at you. So... Uh, it's a delicious have, you, have you tried a shot down the end with water? No, I was, I was waiting to. I'm, I'm currently resembling an elephant and studying well, with can a you, Can you, you go stop, to the stop bathroom? Stop boasting and get acting. Can you get to the bathroom and, and turn the shower on cold? It's got to be freezing cold and uh, uh, shoot as, it down as, the end. As hard as you can. Yeah. Can I just do it in the, in the kitchen tap? Has it got enough force to it? I don't know if that's going to work. It's got to be cold water. I've got a cold tap. Okay, fine then. Let's 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 have a go. Right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Well, no, I'm never. Hang on. Oh God. Right. I'm going to turn the tap on now. Oh. Wish me luck. 
Good luck, David. David, David you need to listen very carefully. Oh. This is important. Yes. Have you got a hard back? <laughs> hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, Matt. He's just he's Ooh. just put, putting cold water on his penis through the, the nozzle of the... That's not going to work. It's reached. That's it, David. You need you need you need you need to put one foot up on a on a hard back chair. Place the tube from the Hoover underneath your dangly part, around the back and over your shoulder. To right. Put, place the other end in your mouth and then blow as hard as you can in the form of a French horn or tuba player until the old chap pops out. You have to do this right now, because if you don't, I think it's going to get gangrene and drop off. Right. Oh, Jesus. Right, well, I've, I've emptied the water out. Did the cold water not work? It, no, it bloody did. It just made the... Okay. It made, well, it made, okay. made the... So you've got to, you're saying he's got to pull it between his legs and round his shoulder and play on it so like he's playing put, a yeah, bagpipes. Put, bagpipes. Like he's playing a, a, a strange form of bagpipes, yeah. Yep. He needs to blow as hard as he can for don't as long as Don't squeeze the bag. <laughs> well, I've done no, it. Three, three, two... One. <laughs> Any good? No. Shall I give it another toot? Give it, give it, and give yeah. it another little, uh, a little toot. Try slightly higher. Mm. Hang on, hang on a minute. I can hit, hang on. Is that having any impact whatsoever? I think it's walking the neighbours. Uh oh. <laughs> but it's important that you have your member pointing directly downwards to allow gravity assist. There we go. Oh, was that? Was it, I think we just heard it. Was 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 that you? Hang on a minute. I think we can. Um, yeah, here we go. No, is that? Did that have any effect? David. He's passed out. No, okay, that's not that's not what we've got another uh hello caller, you're through to David. Dun 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 Ice Ice Baby Oh, I don't know. Have you got, have you got any ice you could pour down your tube, I think is what he's suggesting there. Um yeah. <coughs> okay. I've got dust I've got dust in my beard. Oh god. So at least you worry. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, right, I think I'm, do, I'm just going to ring 999, because this is, this is not I think I think it's best if you I don't call... think it's a 999 job, you should go yourself. <sighs> I think, I think the, number, the number for this kind of incident is uh, 696969, isn't it, I believe? If you give, give that number a call, David, 69, have you got a pen and paper? Yep. Right, the phone number is 6969... Yep. Yep. 69... Yep. 69. If you give them a call, they should be able to, to help. And they might dislodge my penis. Yep, yep. Definitely. Good luck, mate. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Well done. That's, um, we'll, we'll give you an update on that, um, tomorrow. Naked housework. Be careful out there. Gosh, that really was, uh, that was upsetting, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, well. 0344 499 1000 is the telephone number. Good evening, Paul. Hi, how you doing? I've been busting Skelter. I've been holding on for ages for a change. I normally I would have hung up, but you've all been so close tonight to call something that you could use a word that calls something that is great or brilliant. It's what all the kids are using these days. Yes. The word is called dent. Dench. Something that is great. All the all the kids are using right. these the days. Kids are, oh, so all the kids are using it nowadays. It's a popular well, word, it's is it? To do with grime music, that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, okay? yeah. All yeah. the kids are using right. uh, the word that, to describe something that is great or brilliant. like Judy Dench. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Oh. That's where they got the oh. word from. Brilliant. So all the kids are using. Oh, so everyone's using it now. It's a popular word, is it? It's um, yeah. Oh. Are you all being so close? Closer, to, close to Kath, it. Kath, Kath, Kath thought of the word yep. donch, didn't yep. you? Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've all been Donk. so close. Yeah, so, 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 but, but, so the word is dench, is it? The word is dench. Right. And you absolute idiot! You absolute moron of the lowest 
order. You have been waiting on the line for an hour and 19 minutes since the start yeah, of this show. Just... Shut up and listen, boy! Shut up and listen! You have been waiting on the phone since the very start of this show to tell us the word dench is in popular usage by the kids, when if you had actually been listening to what I was saying, I said several times we are looking to make a new word mean dench or mean great or mean wicked that we were going to drop into our vocabulary and see if it spread. We weren't looking for a word that already means wicked or cool or dench. We are looking to find a new you word. Use the word dench at all. No, I know, but we said we are looking to find a new word, you absolute yeah, pudding. It's a new word. But it's in it's use word. already, you flipping idiot! Oh, man. It's in it's use already! Word. It is a new word. It's in use already! Yes, but it's new. We're not looking right. for a word that's in use already. But We're looking new. for a new word! It's new. You carry on taking the mirtazapine, mate. You carry on being an absolute bellend. No, we are not no. looking for a word in use. We are looking for a brand new word. Yeah, and it's a brand new word. No, it's in not. Time. It's all, it's already in use. Yeah, but you haven't thought of it, had you? Jesus Christ! I haven't thought about a helicopter since the show started. It doesn't mean it's the word I'm looking for. Dench is a perfect word. No, it doesn't fit the criteria that I have laid down. Okay, what about the word arse, then? Is it in use? No, I've just made it in use. You're a twat. No. Good day. Flipping heck. How long have you been holding on? Since the start of the show. Since the start of the show, he has been holding on, and he, get ready for the emails, he still doesn't know why Dench doesn't fit into the phoning that we are doing. He still doesn't know. He still doesn't know because he doesn't listen. He is... In the 20 years I have been doing phone-in radio, he is by far my least favourite caller I have ever had. And I used to have a Scottish man called Alex who would phone up and tell me how he would go to dental training school for five years and then find out where my local dentist practice was and he would get a job there just on the off chance that I, he would find me sat in his seat one day so he could drill in all of my teeth without administering any anaesthetic. And the thing is, he meant it. And I preferred him over Paul in Stoke Poges. Dear God. Jeez. I took one caller to court for harassment. I preferred him over Paul in Stoke Poges. De dear God, what is wrong with the man? What is wrong with the bloody man? Get ready for the emails. I have never in my life spoken to somebody who has had such a poor grasp of simple, basic English as that cloth-eared fool. I may have overreacted a little bit there, I don't know. 0344 499 is the telephone number if you uh, want to give us a call. We're still looking for a word that isn't currently in usage to mean good, wicked, cool, um, dench. So we're looking for a word. 0344 499. Yes, Paul! Okay, I express an apology for what you just said. Don't you tell me what to say. I express an apology. There is no way I would want to drill inside your teeth just to be a flipping, just to be a flipping stalker. Or I something. didn't say you wanted to. No, yeah, but you've you 
You've implied that. I am. No, I haven't. No you don't way. listen. No way you you don't listen. Away with that. The Sorry. Point, Sam. There is no way you should get away with that. that I didn't tonight. pull. I didn't say that. He put the phone down. I didn't. I didn't say that. Is this guy absolutely insane? Is he nuts? I didn't say that. I was talking about a Scottish fellow we used to call Nasty Alex. Hello. I didn't say that. And now I expect an apology from no, you. You were implying. No, I wasn't. I said you I preferred that caller over I you. Heard exactly what you said. No, you, you didn't. No, things. you didn't. You didn't hear it. You weren't listening. Of course I was listening. No, you weren't. You what did I say then? Things. What did I say? Yeah, okay, you... Uh, I know exactly what you said. Tell me, me tell me, it. tell you, me. You repeat it, repeat it, buddy. Repeat it, Paul. Paul, Paul, stop making it. jokes about mental health that you can't understand. Tell yeah, me what I, I said, Paul. Exactly tell me, tell me what I said, Paul, because you've got it wrong, mate. Tell me. You were implying that I was some sort of idiot or nope. stalker or something. No, 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 no. I said that I used to have a caller who threatened to learn dentistry so that he could cause me maximum pain. Yeah, and I and preferred... You no, me. shut up. I said I preferred his calls over yours. That's it exactly what I said. with me. Sorry? Which connects it with me. Yeah, it doesn't way. mean it's implied that I'm yeah, saying it's, that. It's Jesus, this guy's an idiot. The listeners. Yeah, a, I'm going to make it easier for everyone, Paul. Never phone. No, never phone my show tonight. again. Never phone my show again. Okay, never, never phone it again. <laughs> Let's hope that that's that's him going on. What's an absolute pudding? Dear goodness gracious me, don't they? Don't like it up and do they? Stimulating nightly emissions guaranteed to open your eyes and your mind. Oh my word. It's the Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee on Talk Radio. Hello, Paul. Hello. I just want to create love and peace. I hate to go to sleep on an argument with anyone. I just want to say love and peace to you. I accept your apology. I just want to create love and peace, no hard feelings, I hate going to bed in an argument, Sa it's wrong. Say the word sorry and we'll be fine. I apologise for anything uh, like you think I've accused you for, but you either say sorry and you're sorry or you're not and if you're not that's fine but 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 you you you, you weren't listening to the show at any point tonight I am sorry that, that I might have got the that, I might have got the that, point of the show wrong by not using an original word that, no, 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 right, and the thing about me saying that I thought you were going to drill my teeth out which I didn't say no, well, I think maybe you might have been implying something no things. no was not implying anything. I was you saying... Do why I saw that, though? Yep, yeah, because you're an idiot. I was no. saying I had a caller who once, th who several times threatened me physical harm, and I preferred him over you. I didn't say that you were threatening physical harm, I didn't say no, that you were no, training to be a dentist. why some listeners might think that. No, no, I can't. I, I can't, because I, cause, cause I didn't, I, I didn't, in any, all I said was, this caller I used to threaten physical harm, and I still preferred talking to him than I do to you. It's not in I any way... never threatened physical harm on anyone. No, and I'm not saying you... I'm gonna... Ah! I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you are, Paul. Literally, I'm not you saying that. You understand why people might understand I can that, understand... Though, from what you You're right. Said. All right. Yeah, all right. I can understand why a, an absolute idiot might understand that. Yeah, and there yeah. are idiots out there. You're one of them. Yeah, I might be an idiot. No, yeah. I'm not an idiot. Well, hang on, I'm but you thought, idiot, you but thought... You thought... understand why people might no, think that. No, I can understand why idiots might think that, and you thought that, so you must be an idiot. No, I just get an idea what some listeners no, might think. No, no, I don't... No, no, no. You thought that. You thought that. OK, I apologise. I say I'm sorry. Let's go to bed and love them. There we go. Is that sorted out? Fine, you apologise. Good, I appreciate that. A little bit of problems with the phones. The Wi-Fi is, is... Well, the Wi-Fi here is crap anyway. I have no idea um, <laughs> why we even bother with the Wi-Fi. But the Wi-Fi is down. Um, and the phones are being a bit funny. So what we'll do, I thought, for this hour, is we will take calls straight to air. OK? Um, uh, uh, and that should hopefully uh, should uh, be OK. 0344 499 1000 is the telephone number. If you want to give us a call, don't swear, don't be libelous. There's a seven-second delay and I have a dump button. Apart from that, you can come on and say anything you want. Line one, you're on the wireless. I think I broke my wrist. Sorry? I think I broke my wrist. Oh. Uh, yeah. 
Is it? Mm. All right. Are you dying? Yeah. You're dying. That's kind of last ride. Well, it's um, it's it's. I'd like to say it's been a pleasure knowing you, Jerry, but I don't want to lie to a dying man. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Lee. Well, I'll see you on the next life. Except there isn't one. Let's go to line number two. Line number two. You're on the wireless. Nope. Okay, you're not there. Let's go to line number three. Line number three. You're on the wireless. Hello. Hello, line three. You're on the wireless. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Well, you're on the wireless. Yeah, I've got an idea for a new TV series. Beautiful! This is what we need! Yeah, it's a reimagining of Mork and Mindy. Oh, yes. Called called Nork and Mindy. I like it. Go on. It'll star, uh, what's her name, uh, who's seen Prince Harry. Yes, Meghan Markle's. She... Yeah, she's uh, Mindy. Yes. Nork is played by Kim Jong Un. Oh. And their son is played by George Galloway. Um, it sounds perfect. I'm in. Let's make it happen. Let's go to line four. Four, you're on the wireless. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, let's go to line five. Line five, you're on the wireless. <laughs> okay, all right. It's going to be one of those nights, is it? Let's go to line six. Six, you're on the wireless. Yeah. What the hell is this? Okay, I don't know what that is. Let's go to line seven. Oh, jeez, my ears! Uh, right, the phones are... <sighs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close phone box, and I'm going to reopen phone box, and maybe that we got will get rid of what I believe they used to call in the olden days, gremlins in the system. Gremlins in the... I'm not Jake Yap, I'm Ian Lee. There we go. And then, oh, three, four, 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 nine, nine, one thousand is the telephone number. If you want to give us a call, let's go to line one. One, you're on the wireless. Hello, line one. <clears throat> line one is not there. Let's go to line two. Line two, you're on the wireless. Este es un aviso importante para todos los ciudadanos. Manténganse dentro de sus casas, lejos de sus ventanas y puertas, y fuera del alcance de todos seres no humanos. What the hell is that? The nut jobs are out in force today. Let's go to uh, let's go to the other end. Let's go to line ten. Ten, you're on the wireless. Hello, line ten. <laughs> Let's try. Um, <laughs> Imagine, guys, a phone-in show where the phones don't work and the host hasn't got any material. Um, let's try line two. No, that's that. Okay, let's try line three. Right, okay, this is, uh, this is, <laughs> this is rubbish. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do, I'll tell you what we'll do, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, let's have an outbreak. The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee. I'm a nutjob, but not that kind of nutjob. On Talk Radio. Honest to God, it's the new Breaking Bad. Oh no! Do you know what the worst thing in the world is when you're really hungry and you look over and you see there's a Pret-a-Manger bag and you look in there and it's empty. That's just, that's, that's, um, uh, I believe a cocktease is the, uh, the correct phrase. We'll try and take some more. We're having a few technical problems tonight. Nothing to worry about. And we've rebooted the system. That should do it. Let's go to line number one. Line number one, you're on the wireless. That's not done it. Let's go to line number two. Line number two, you're on the wireless. No, that's that again. Let's go to line number three. Line number three, can you hear me? What is this? Shut on. Hello? Okay, I can't. Uh, <laughs> Good luck with uh, whoever's filling in for me um, next week. Bye. Right. Um, thinks on his feet, thinks on his feet. Right, this is what we'll do. Um, I'm making an exact. Is the, is the Robin Asquith interview ready? Okay, right. So I went out, we'll play that now. Can we sort these bloody phones out? Absolute bollocks, they're not working. Let's go to, uh, let's go to line four. Four, you're on the wireless. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let us go to line one. 
There's that noise again. There's the one that's going to make you deaf. Let's leave the phones for a little bit. Let's leave the phones for a little bit. This is really weird, but I've, um, I've tried to, like, raise the engineers, but they're not answering their phone. Well, let's be honest, they're probably drunk somewhere. Sam, if you could reset phone box for us again. That seems, it seems we, we, we get a couple of minutes grace if we reset the, uh, the, the system there. So that is, um, um, this is uh, exciting. Um, let's, uh, we've just reset the phones. Can we just see if this works? Hello, line one. One, you're on the wireless. Ian, my friend. Is that, can you do me, who's that? Manny. Manny? Yeah. Buddy, we were talking, I can't, okay. I'm just, hang on a second, I'm just gonna, um, hang on, I'm gonna, you stay there, you're not gone. Um, uh, we were talking about Manny the other day. I wondering what had happened to him. Um, and now he turns out he's phoning us from space. Let's, let's try, let's see if we can hear him any better. Yes, Manny? Hello. It's you're a right. terrible line, man. Is it? How you doing, Kat? You all right? Can you give us a call again? Yeah. No all right, buddy, thank you very much. Try us again, because okay. that is a terrible, terrible line. Um, 0344 499 one thousand. Let's go to line two. Two, you're on the wireless. Hello, mate. Um, I know Ian's a big fan of music. I want to show him a pretty spring thing. Okay, go on then. So, so, so just hang on them. No, you're, you're on the air. Just although it's a terrible line, can you give us a call back? Uh, so I'll give you a call back. Yeah, yeah. We're taking calls straight to air, which you would know if yeah, you were yeah, listening. Yeah, I can do that. That's all right. All right. Thank you very much indeed. Um, oh, there's, there's no rush. Um, let's try line three. Hello, line three. You're live on talk radio. Hello, line three. You are... <laughs> okay, okay. Let us try, um, line four. Hello, line four. You're on the wireless. Hello? Oh, we got someone! We've got... Don't, don't let this guy go anywhere! We've got a phone call that works! You are, you are with us Hello? for the rest of the show, man! You're going nowhere! I'll call. I'll sit in my driveway for the rest of the night. And Perfect. We have in terrible trouble with the phones. You are going nowhere. Who is this, and what do you want? My name is Andrew, and I was just driving home from the rugby and thought I'd go and say hello. Hey, Andrew. Um. Uh, so, uh, uh, w- w- so what's going on in your life? What was the rugby like? Uh, fantastic game, Leeds Rhinos, the mighty Leeds Rhinos. We are going to Old Trafford next week for the grand final. Yes! Sports! Sports and men and beer! Ah, get your willy out, let's all have a look. Go on then. Uh, but... <laughs> in my car, I can't do that while Get I'm driving. Get your willy out in your car while you're driving. He's gone. <laughs> ah! I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it was too good to be true. Um, 0344. <laughs> Maybe we won't have a lock-in tonight. I don't know. 0344. 499 This is the Late Night Alternative, and I can only apologise for my last show before I go on holiday being an absolute car crash. Take a trip into the alternate reality of Late Night Radio. I think I'm in something like The Matrix, and so are you. The Late Night Alternative. Hello, hello. With Ian Lee. Is there anybody out there? On Talk Radio. Hello. Oh, three, four, four. Four, nine, nine. I don't know why I'm giving out the phone number. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not working at all. Uh, oh, three, four, 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 nine, nine, one thousand is the telephone number. If you want to give us a call, let's go to line one. One, you are on the wireless. Hello, line one. Hello, Ian. Hello, mate. Who's this? Manny. Hello, Manny. How you doing? I'm okay, sir. It's. I can't hear you very well, and I'm wondering I'm, if it's. I'm, I'm, I'm on the landline now. I'm wondering, can you give it a hit on the table? That used to work. It's your end. I'm beginning to think it might be our end. I think we can just, I think we can just about make out what you're saying, Manny. Go on. Well, I had the worst end of the year and the worst start of the year. You had the worst end of the year and the worst start of the year? November, my nephew died of cancer, 23. Uh, yeah, oh, blimey, yeah, I do, yes. Then, my wife's brother died, 50, December. She, your wife did what? My wife's brother, he passed away. Oh, mate, I'm sorry to hear that. Then this is... my dad was coming back from India in February, he passed away on the plane. On the plane? On the plane. 
Bloody hell. Then we took his ashes, we took a three oh. weeks to get him over here yeah, from Russia. Yeah. Then we took his ashes Manny, Manny, listen, Manny, Manny, this is, this, you're, you're telling me some really heavy stuff, man, and this phone line is absolutely atrocious, oh. and, and, I, and I, 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 you know, I want to hear what you're saying, and I want to, t- t- listen, I'm off I'll next, Monday. Well, I'll I'm, I'm Monday. off next week, but give us, give okay. us a call when you can, and we'll, we'll, okay. we'll sort something out. Thank you, Manny, take care, man, take care, thank you. That was some heavy stuff he was laying, and we... Poor thing, and we... That uh, phone line was awful. Let's go to line two. Line two, you are on the wireless. It's that again. That's, um... What? Can you hear what she's saying? Is, this, is that Spanish? Yeah. What's she saying? She's gone. What was that? Something about... No. Something about... St- okay. Staying in your house. Okay, well, stay, stay in your house then, for God's sakes, people. If that's what you've got to do, then that's what you've got to do. Let's go to line two. Two, you're on the wireless. Oh, John Hearn. Oh, John Hearn. Oh, John Hearn. This is the freakiest show I've ever done. <laughs> really? This is making me... <laughs> this is... Oh, no, phone on and the thing. Um. Oh. Um. That's peculiar. What? Um. It's my wife. Can you turn the tellies on for a minute? Uh, okay. Turn the tellies on, sorry. Uh. Try the ne- Try the other one. I've just had a very, um... No, hang on. <laughs> Third one's a charm. Oh, goodness sakes. Bloody air cons off as well. It's boiling in here. Right, so none of them are working, right? Let me... Go, can you go and have a look in the office? Not. I've just had a text from her saying, um, she, she, she says, turn on the TV, you won't <laughs> believe what's going on. I'm going to do something I would never normally do, dear listener, and I hope you don't think I'm... Um, she's... Th- this, um... My wife's a reporter. Um, so I am... I'm just going to give her a call. I wouldn't normally do this. Um, but she wouldn't normally text me like this during the show. So let me... Here's the terrible thing. I don't know her phone number. No one knows... No one knows phone numbers anymore. Let me just text it. Uh, um, are any of them working? No, no, it's just that blue screen. Not one. Okay, I'm just... I'm going to phone, um... I'm going to phone Helen up because, uh... This is Texas. It's most peculiar. Right. Sam, could you try engineering again, please? Okay. Right. Okay. Let me try again. <clears throat> oh, Sam. And then you hit dial and. Attention. Right, this is freaky shit. This is my wife's phone. What is, she, what is this saying? Tell me what this is saying. Okay, hang on a second. This Manténganse dentro de sus casas, lejos de sus ventanas y puertas, y fuera del alcance de todo ser no humano. <laughs> what? What? Hang on, I need to just hear that again. Atención, este es un aviso importante para todos los ciudadanos. Manténganse dentro de sus casas, lejos de sus ventanas y puertas, y fuera del alcance de todos seres no humanos. What is, what is, that is freaking, <laughs> the, what is it saying? That is you freaking. You think it's freaking, you don't understand it. Something like, this is an, this is an important announcement for all citizens. <laughs> I know, ridiculous. Don't wind me up because I'm, I'm not now, now, winding you up. Hang on a minute, because I'm te- telling you now, my, that, that message is very weird. And I've just sent a text to my wife, and it's, it's not been delivered. It's coming up as not delivered. Sam, is your phone working? Right. What does that? What does that voice say? <laughs> and don't, please don't piss around because I'm, I'm now not, worried about my family. I'm not because I'm. Wo- please don't. I'm now worried. Go. It it said something like stay right. It was an important message to all citizens. Yeah. Stay inside your house. Something about staying away from like access points. <laughs> and it's no. That's not even the weirdest bit. That's not even the weirdest bit. I, I, I actually don't want to say this out loud because it's... Okay, say it. Say it. We're, we're, we're all adults here. 
<laughs> Some of us are more adult than others. It's not if rude. It, it's just I, weird. Oh, okay. Go on then. I've got goosebumps. So you've got to stay in the house away from access points and. What is an access point? A door. Well, who sits by a door anyway, apart from You're a right. dog? This is ridiculous. I don't know who. I mean, fair play. We've said try and prank us. This is this is a belter. Is this? Um, is this? It can't be. Do you remember Noel's Gotcha Oscars? <laughs> yes. Is, and they would. This is what Noel Edmonds would do, and this is one of the reasons I despise the man. Um, is it, he would get like the family involved? But he would. My wife wouldn't do something like that. Not 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 the way things are at the moment. No, that, that's that is. Uh, so, well, it the, could be. The last part of that message yes. is the weirdest bit. Go on, go on, go on, go. Go. Right, so you've got to stay out of... The, you, I'm just going to say it. You've got to stay away from access points and out of reach of non-humans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, like, so dogs? I'm guessing. Can dogs reach? I mean... The phones are going nuts, but they're all showing as anonymous. You know, normally it will come up with a number or a name. They're all blank. So let's just take one at random. Line three, you're on the wireless. Excellent. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, Ian. How are you? I'm very... Well, I'm a bit freaked out because I've just had a very disturbing message from my wife. Yes. Is she OK? Well, I don't know. I can't... When I phone up, we get we get some Spanish woman. Uh, should I print... Should I pretend to be your wife? Um, not really appropriate, but thanks very much anyway. If anyone knows what's going on... Who is that? Um, line two, you're on the wireless. Uh, good evening, Ian. How are you? I'm a little bit concerned about my family, if I'm honest, but, yeah, go on. What, do you know what's going on? Uh, well, I, I was listening the other night, and I, I heard that you were a Prince fan. A what fan? A Prince. Prince fan. No. No, I'm not. No, you said you were definitely a Prince fan. No, we didn't. See Prince. No, 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 no. I said I went to see. I said I went to. You took a girl. Yeah, I said I went to see Prince. I didn't say I was a Prince fan. It's completely different. Uh, Oh, you disappointed me now. No, 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 no. Um, Let's go to line four. Line four, you're on the wireless. Jesus, right. Okay, let's go to line five. Five, you're on the wireless. (laughs) Have you got any internet on? I've not even got three G on my phone. Let's go to line six. You're on the wireless. Let's go to line seven, you're on the wireless. Line seven, you're on the wireless. Whoa, whoa, whoa. OK, let's try line eight. Line eight, you're on the wireless. Hello, line eight. Hello. Hello. Hello, you're on the air. Who is this? It's Nigel from my phone. Nigel, have you got... Is your telly working? Um, uh, yes, the telly's fine. I can hear yours is not. Yeah. What's... Are you watching... Is have you, have you got... Have you got the news on, Nigel? No. Can you put the news on for us and let us know what's going on? Well, BBC One. Well, the news. Has he got a news channel? I, I don't think it's on yet. There's a film on. Look, the news is not on my st- station you, yet. I was going to ask if he had C. I was genuinely going to ask him if he had C. <laughs> I bet he has. If anyone would have C. Facts, <laughs> he would. Um, uh, my mum's. Mummy, I can't turn it over. My mum's watching the film. Can you? Uh, well, okay, Nigel. Well, thanks. Thanks very much for calling, Nigel. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly swore there. I nearly dropped an F-bomb then. I do, do you know what? I never thought I would find Nigel's voice reassuring. <laughs> oh, I still have him. <laughs> I'm going to, do you mind if I try my wife one more time? Yeah. One more time. One more, what was that show? One more time, take it from the top. I don't Little, know. It was Bill Oddie. Oh, you're going to be a star. Um, oh, mm, 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 mm. And let us see if we get an answer this time. Stay away from windows. Okay, stay stay away from windows, guys. <clears throat> okay. Part of me wants to go home and see what's going on, but part of me is also prof- a professional. <laughs> is there a part of you wants to stay away from the windows? Because I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, the phones... Now, I don't know if this means that the, uh, uh, the, the phones are working or the phones are not working. All ten lines are up and running. So, we're going to do a run. Let's go to line one. One, you're on the wireless. There we go. <laughs> okay. Let's go to line two. Two, you're on the wireless. This place is reassuringly crap, isn't it? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm a bit starting to think, though, that this isn't, um, um, I was going to say, 
I was going to say, if you're having a problem with your phones, maybe you could call in and tell us. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like when we were at the other place <laughs> when they used to be um, the power cut. Yeah. We'd be talking to them on the radio. Yeah. Well, you know. uh, let's try line three. Three, you're on the wireless. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's try line four. Four, you're on the wireless. That's the one! That's the killer. Line five, you're on the wireless. Let's, uh... Hello, this is, now this normally means there's someone there. Hello? Hello? Okay, I feel like we need to, to, to pick up the ra- the whole radio station and give, give it, it a, a shake. Good, good shake. Let's try, let's try line 10. Line 10, you're on the wireless. What's that? What the hell is that? Does anyone know what that is? Because that is nuts. That is nuts. What's that? That is some freaky uh, shiz, man. <clears throat> okay. I'm genuinely, I'm, I'm genuinely uncomfortable. Um, but don't, don't. I'm, I'm assuming people. I'm assuming this is broadcasting. We have no way of knowing. Uh, but it's only not from Nigel's call because he doesn't listen anyway. Um, but that, I, th- there is definitely something going on, and I don't think it's it's the technical problems in this studio. I think there is something slightly bigger that is happening. Uh, rest assured um, that we will we will be here until we find out what's going on. Um, I'm Ian Lee. Yeah, that's Catherine Boyle. You're listening to the Late Night Alternative on Talk Radio. The Wild Man of Late Night Radio. The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee on Talk Radio. We have ways of making you talk. Um, right, okay. Uh, we're back. Um, something very weird is going on, but I don't want, I don't, I don't want to jump to conclusions because we don't know, but, um... None of the uh, TVs are working in here. We're having great trouble with the internet. Um, Twitter was working, then it's not. I think it might be working um, now. I don't want to scare anybody, but this is this is weird. Um, if you can... Uh, this is weird, isn't it, Kath? It is, but like you, I don't want to jump to any conclusions. And, you know, above all, we don't want to frighten anyone. No. Um... But it's... I've never... I mean, the Wi-Fi in here, it's got to be said, is pony. No, the Wi-Fi is terrible! But this is beyond anything like that, The TV's being down. I mean, it could be... OK, here's... here's let, OK, let's let's go through it. It could be an electrical surge that, although the TVs are, are on, there is power going to the TVs, but none of the channels um, are working. The screens are working. Let me um, just try this one again. Go on. Anything? No. 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 It's the it's um it's the blue screen. The blue screen you get with why do they modern TVs have the blue screen when you can't get a signal? I prefer the static. I miss I miss the static. At this point I'll take anything. I miss, <laughs> I miss um the I miss the static. Shit. Right. The lights of <laughs> the lights have just gone out. Is, it, is this <laughs> oh, This is <laughs> what? Sam, did you do that? <laughs> oh, okay. Right, I'm going to tell you what's going on. Okay, so uh, we've got um, uh, the three screens I would normally have off. They're all just showing the blue screen. The lights, just as as Kath sat down, the lights in the studio went off. Uh, the only lights we've got are the uh, say the TV screens, and I've got a computer in front of me that's just got you know is, is got messages you know where where Sam types messages for me, and phone box. Phone box is working. Um, we have got some calls, so um, I guess you can still call in. Oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand is the telephone number. Can you, you... see all right? Because I might have a torch in my key ring. Uh, no, I can see these screens. Right, cool. I can see these screens. So I'm fine with. Uh, I'm fine with that. Um, right. Let's take some of these uh, calls. Let's go to Paul. Good evening, Paul. Paul, can you hear me? Paul's not there. Okie dokie. Let's go to line two. Line two is Sally. Good evening, Sally. What a surprise. Sally's not there right, either. Like, help can you out. go next door? Yeah. Because, okay. 
Um, OK, let's go to uh, line three. Line three is Steve. Good evening, Steve. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> what does that tone mean? I don't know what that noise means. Um, OK, uh, I'm just going to take some... Don't bother putting them through. I'm going to take some calls straight to air. Line four. Four, you're on the wireless. Right, is no this... Más. Right. <laughs> Is someone taking the piss? Is that Spanish? Is that Spanish message again? <laughs> is that? Has someone recorded that? And playing it down the phone. Hey. Um, um, line five. It's the same. It's... I'm genuinely... Uh... Right, I am starting to feel very, very uncomfortable here. Um, okay, I'm going to... Jeez, uh, I don't know what... To, okay, I'm going to do something I wouldn't normally do because actually I'm starting to feel a little bit spooked and I'm sure it is uh, nothing, but um, I am going to phone the... Uh, I'm going to phone the police, but I'm not going to phone 999... Because I don't think this is an emergency, I'm going to dial one, one, one. Right, that. <laughs> it's one oh one. One oh one. Is that it? Okay, God, that's a relief. Jeez. Okay, one oh one. I'm being told I had the wrong number. One. Oh. One. That number's not working either. Right, Kath, I'm making a call. I'm going to, I'm, I am, um, with your permission, I'm going to phone 999 because this is weird. Do you think this, it's, um. I'm going to phone 999. I don't, I, I don't need to dial nine for an outside line, do I? I just dial the no, number. I don't think me. so. I, I'll I'll just, just dial the number. I think All I right. should give the boss a ring as well. Hang on. Nine. 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 our Spanish friend again. Uh, right. The boss isn't picking up. I genuinely don't know what to do. This is the freakiest thing. Uh, this is the freakiest thing I think we've ever had. Um, right. Uh... Still no lights in the studio. The, the 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 screen is working. It says I have um, uh, Gatford, Gary from Catford on the line. Uh, evening, Gary. Yeah, I, uh, ten years. I've been ringing you in. Yeah. Yes, mate. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe you're lowering yourself to this. What do you mean? Well, come on. This, this Marrakesh. Yeah, the phone in recorded special. This is just low, man. Oh, no, right. For those Come who on. don't know, Gary is referencing a show I did from Marrakesh. Right, I'm going to put my hands up, right? And this is the yeah. first time I've ever said this in public. The show from Marrakesh, we were in the studio in Labrook Grove, okay? That was completely fake. I swear to you, Gary, uh-huh, yeah. that this is on not... Toe. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> mate, mate, this is, this is... Have you got lights on in your house? No, but it's like 20 to 1. Have you tried the lights on in your house? It's 20 to 1. Stop it. All right, mate. Honestly, this is... <sighs> there is... Yeah. Where's Kath? I'm here. I've just come What? Up. You should be stopping this. Come on. Gary. You're Gatford. better than this. No. I well, know oh, he's not, but you are. I actually do not know what is... This is not... This a th- point. Dude, yeah. this isn't... Gary, the oh, fact yeah. I'm calling you Gary and not Gatford, this is yeah. not... We're not oh, doing a thing. the Spanish message again, Ian. Come on. Well, it turns out if you phone 999, that's the message you get. It turns out it's everywhere. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not falling for it. Oh, there's, there's someone at the door. Hold on a minute. Mate, mate, Gary. Look, it's 
don't, I'm gonna, what? Don't, right, here's, here's the thing, if I've learned anything tonight, don't go and open the door, man. Ian, it's the middle of the night, it's probably important. No one knocks on the door at 20 to 1. Just you're saying the, the message in Spanish is stay at home? Yeah, I don't right, really okay, want to whatever, translate yeah. it, because I'm not actually yeah, sure what it is, but I would not open the door. Hang on. Hey, oh, jeez. Yes. Oh. So you don't come in. No, get your foot out of there. This is... Gary! Get your foot out of there. Gary! Step back! Step back! Gary! Uh, step back, mate. I do, do not take another step. Gary! Gary! <laughs> Gary! <laughs> Flipping it. What was that? I'm... Um, can we go to a break? Can we go to a break? Go to, throw to a break now, quickly. Jesus Christ, what was that? The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee on Talk Radio. We'll get you talking. Um, uh, we're back, I think. I don't, I have no, uh, I have no way of, um, knowing if this is going out. I can only assume it is. Um, the red light is on. I can hear myself in my ears and I have to, um, I have to assume that this is um, going out. That was weird, yeah? That, was, that thing with Gatford was weird. Um, I've... Uh, we've tried to phone him back, and we're just getting the old... Um, the old message espanol, which is... Um, it's very weird. So we, 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 I don't think we'll be having a lock in tonight, or maybe we will, because maybe it's not safe to go home. I don't know. Um, so we find ourselves in a very strange position. Let's, let's just have a, let's just gather our thoughts slightly in a very calm, um, measured way and just kind of, um, d- establish exactly where we are. So, um, the, the, the televisions in the studio aren't, aren't working. Um, it's, it's, it's that blue screen. Um, I certainly can't get Twitter or Facebook or, or anything like that to work. Um, uh, w- the phones are, you know, kind of, um, intermittent. We've had a few phone calls getting through, but we, we seem to be, um, uh, we, we seem to be getting, uh, d- d- tones and some strange, um, thing. I'm going to be honest, I find myself in a very unique position in terms of my 20 years, almost, 20 uh, 20 years next year, uh, 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 of broadcasting in that I haven't got a flipping clue what's going on. Haven't got a Scooby-Doo. Um... Hmm... I'm waiting for the, I'm waiting for for the switchboard to light up as uh, as is my usual thing, but of course it's not lighting up because <laughs> the phones aren't working. So um, um, ah, there's a phone call. Put that phone call through. Put that phone call through. Hello, jeez. Oh, Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, is that Ian? Hello? Yeah, what do you want? Yeah. Hello? Ian. Hello, who's this? No, no, no. No, C- trust me, C- man. Can you hear me? I'm, I'm you. What? I, I, I haven't got to blame, but you've, you've just... Listen, you've got to listen to me, right? Is it... You is this someone... Up, someone pretending to be me? It's really important that you why, go to the room... Why is someone pretending now, to be me? You're there a, isn't time to explain. Is this a soundboard? Trust, honestly, I'm you. What do you mean? Why are you I, doing I'm this? What? Why are you doing this? How... What do you want me to say? What? This is... Why are you doing this? Why are you copying copying me? me? You're copying me! You're copying me! You're You're saying saying what I'm saying at exactly the... the same time because of you two. Jesus. Honestly, I... 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 I, I, The roof. You need to come up on the roof as Uh. quickly as you can. We've got to go. There's not much time. Hello? Hello? Uh, what? Uh, 
I, I, I'm, I am, I am absolutely petrified now. I'm going to be honest. What was that? They're gone. The line's gone. Kath, is your microphone? Can you, can you, can you get your microphone to? Can you talk for a second? Yeah, um, yeah. Did you hear that? <laughs> They're getting cleverer, or that. That was apparently me oh. telling me to go up on the roof, and then I heard so you in the background. It sound like me. <laughs> oh, God, this is terrifying. I don't want to go. I don't want to go out the studio. <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right. I'm going to make an executive decision. We've got about ten minutes of the show left. I apparently have just had a phone call from me telling me <laughs> to go to the roof. Um, so I'm going to go to the roof. What? I'm going to go to the roof. Um, I wonder if my phone will. I've got it. It says I've got a signal on my phone. Can you can you dial my number? Let me write it down. Okay. Um, um, oh, these pens, oh, these pens that work. Hang on a second. Uh, uh, uh. There's no guarantee that I'm going to get a line. At the... I know, but uh, uh, this is. Uh, there you go. That's that's my number there. Can you read that? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, guys, if we've learned anything from watching um, programmes like Lost, uh, if uh, future or past you tells you to do something, then God damn it, you better bloody do it! Hang on, I've turned it wrong. <laughs> this is terrifying! I'm shaking, Ian. Mate, here's, here's what I think. You stay here. What? You stay here with Sam. I'm going to go and get the keys. I'm going to go to the roof. If it's safe, if it's safe, what am I, I talking about? I'm somewhere in, in the, the towering inferno or something. Um, have you got it? I think so. Okay. Hang on a second. Right, so this, right, can you hear me? No, hang on. Can you hear, I, ca I, ca I, can't, I, can't, I can't hear you. Can you, can you talk can you to me? Talk to me? Yep. Can okay, you hear me? right. Right. Can you hear me on this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, right. Are you sure you should be doing this on your own? Stay, stay, just stay, stay there. there. Let's see what's, see going, what's on. going on. Jeez, this is weird. Right, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Oh. Hang on a second. Um, oh, I need to get in the blooming fob. Oh, jeez. Even in times of uh, national security crises, uh, we still need um, fobs to get in and out of this building. Oh, it's a very... Uh, right, hang on a second. You still there? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. There's no one here at the moment. Well, not even the security guard. Is he there? I'm not there. I'm calm down. I'm not down there yet. Stop panicking. We don't even know what's going on. <sighs> right. Ah, hey man, have you got the car have you got the keys for the roof, please? I need to get on the roof. Thank you. Has anybody tried to get in tonight? Has anyone tried to get in through the door? Right, don't don't let anybody in if they come in through the door. Okay, thank you, man. He's, he's, uh, he seems on the ball, like, uh, all, uh, security well, people. Oh, I should have taken the lift. Um, are there any calls on the switchboard? Is anyone getting so, through? There's nothing. Oh, sorry, let's give it the number, just in case. 0344 499 is the telephone number. Um, although I don't think you're going to have to get through. <laughs> this is freaky upstairs is uh, in darkness it's completely pitch black dark up here um has the sound of uh, Kasabian playing so the playout system on Virgin is working oh it's the bloody king Ugh. right oh Right, Kath, I'm going to go up. Um, right, this is going to sound really melodramatic, right? Are you there? Yeah. This is going to sound, right, going to sound Ben, but I'm going to say it. If anything happens, you're the best producer I've ever worked oh, with. Oh, right? stop okay? that! No, stop no, 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 I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it, right? So, oh, Jesus, there's no... Oh, right. Oh. Oh my god. Well, the door, 
I'm, I'm at the top of the stairs. <laughs> the door is unlocked to the roof. What? Uh, I'm going out, I'm going out. Going out. Hello? I can't see anyone. I certainly can't see future me. Um, I'm going to go to the edge. You be careful. I'm going I'm to look at... Jesus Christ! Unbelievable! Bloody hell. What's going on? This is, this is nuts. This is nuts, man. This is nuts, Cass. All right, I'm looking over the street. Um, what's uh, Hatfield? We're on Hatfield. And, um... Oh, oh geez, this is horrible. Uh... There's like hundreds of people down there, but they're all just sort of stood there. What, what is, uh... Jesus. Ian, you better come back in. Ian? Huh? Can you come back? Hang on, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back, I'm going to come back, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. Come back. Right. Have you just locked the door? No, I haven't just locked the door. Oh, Jesus, the door is locked! Oh, no! Oh! This is... Hello? Do you want me to come up? Hello? Do you want me to come up? Oh, my God, it is you. What? Why are you... This is the most amazing thing! But... But you're me! Oh... Oh, uh, what is going on, man? I'll tell you, it's got to come with me now. I, this is... Uh... Um... <coughs> Cass, I have to go. What?! I have to go. It will be... Everything will be alright, okay? What are you talking about? Listen, it's fine. I'm here. Everything will be all right. Now. Ian. Ian. It's gone off. Right, Sam. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna have to go up there. So, phone. Open my phone phone. If I phone myself, hang on, here we go. Oh god, I've got I'm shaking so much. Right, um, here we go. Here we go. Right, this is my phone. Put me on fader one there. Is that working? Is that working? Is that working? Is that working? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm go, gonna go out, out, out and. and... Just keep, just keep it, it. Just, keep just keep it going. I'm sure that can't be what I'm thinking. Can you still hear me? Can you... Hang on. Let me, um... Let me just get this. God. God. There we go. What the hell is that?
This is an urgent public service message from Her Majesty's Government Department for Homeland Security. The British public is being advised to stay indoors, securing all doors and windows, and retiring to a place of safety far from any potential access points. Once secured, you must not admit anyone to your area, regardless of relationship or family ties. They may represent a significant security risk. This is an urgent public service message from Her Majesty's Government Department for Homeland Security. The British public is being advised to stay indoors, securing all doors and windows, and retiring to a place of safety far from any potential access points. Once secured.